And Stone, I do have a question for you. Yes. Do you even know what a podcast is? No. Oh, okay. Well, then you're in the same boat as you. I push, yep. I push buttons. What? What? I do. I need a beer first to answer. Oh, that. I got. <laughs> I got two stone. Oh, oh my god. I've I've got oh, two dear as Lord. well. Stone. No comment. Um, hey Stone, you know what I used today? Yeah, what? I used a Dutch oven. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <sighs> of yep. course. Yep. Yep. <laughs> uh, all right. So chat says that they see and hear. All right. Hey, chat room. Sorry. <laughs> all right. Hello. Be with you guys um, in a minute. In a momento. Um. Hmm. Okay. I think I'll fix up the other in a minute. That was a thing. Hey, chat right. room. Time to trash the place. Jesus. But it's a nice shirt you got on there, Stone. I know. I see. I'm glad it. I told you that it. I like, got. You're like, where is it? And like, <laughs> oh, it arrived. Yes. <laughs> you are terrible with mail, by the way. I am not terrible with mail. Well, you you sent me stuff for you, and you put the wrong address. It, you were it was close. It was you. Close. You know, don't give her fodder for crying uh, out loud. Let's oh, see. Thank you. It's Jesus. okay, Stone. I'm still waiting for my con before the storm patch. Wow. I think I'm gonna end up picking it up in Anaheim. Wow. <laughs> yeah, they, oh, well, yeah, I, I like think that. I have. Uh, that's beautiful. No, Heather Heather tried to send it to me, and for some reason it got sent back. That's right. I don't know why. Right. Uh, yeah. Oh. Wow. We had some other folks who just randomly got sent back, and we were like, told them, we're like, you got sent back, and they're like, that's weird. I'm like, look, look, you could even look at USPS look. says we could not deliver it. And they're like, but the, one person was like a, a P.O. box at a post office, <laughs> and they're like, we can't deliver it. We're like, why not? Um, oh, fun times, fun times. But no, but then there was your other Calm Before Storm stuff, and you you complained to me, like, where is my stuff, Sarah? And I, I looked up the tracking number. I'm like, it was delivered a week ago. And you're like, oh. And then at break on raid, you went to go get it. And you're like, oh, here it is. <laughs> Who, me? Yeah, you. I wasn't even listening. <laughs> <laughs> What's new? The what? What? So it's what just like raids. Done? Yes, just just like raids. You know, I push buttons. Pretty much. Mold, Would which... you expect anything less? Eases up. Okay, I'm gonna play a quick little sound thing. Uh, let me know if you guys can hear. Mm -hmm. Coffee is my blood. Coffee is my blood. Oh, yes. Reminds me. Okay. Sorry, not oh, sorry. You're gonna make me go pee. God damn it. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna mute. That's why and, I'm not sorry. Uh, sea stone row shaved his head. I, I, I know, but I can't do I, my shaved head, head. My head has been my head has been shaved for some beard, time. and I can't do. Oh, hit the mic, cause pro. I can't do <laughs> just in the front. I gotta do the full beard. Fuck, I gotta stop hitting the mic. Some people do. I know, but I it doesn't look good on me. Uh, oh. Stone, I think you're fine just the way you are. Yeah. Yeah, everyone enjoys your yeah. top target. Kevin. See, Kevin's all in there. Oh, yeah, Kevin is there. I disagree. Yes, he is. <laughs> all right, I'm going to mute uh, everyone, and then we're going to go, okay? Okay. My wife is out with the kids, so... <gasps> so that means you're going to curse. Um, fuck yeah, because now, <laughs> now I can't get punched, so... Oh, well, BlizzCon, you will. <sighs> yeah, I was right. going to say. They will be BlizzCon. I've been telling everyone about that contest, by the way. Everyone who will listen. Bye. <laughs> Iron Man. Bloodthirsty. Wow. Pacifist. You're listening to the WoW Challenges podcast. 
the home of the Iron Man Challenge. And here are your hosts, Stone and Lita. Hello and welcome to the Wow Challenges podcast. This is episode 139. Today is Saturday, October 20th, 2018. I'm your host, Lita. Oh, no. And joining me is my co-host, Stone. Kapla. Hey, Stone. How are you? I am doing well. I remember to send Excellent. Stone's wife this VOD. Great. Great. Yeah. Okay. So, so, the chat, so the chat room is ready to uh, sell me out. I am. Uh, yeah. This this will be my last show, uh, so we can cancel next week. BlizzCon will probably be it. It's been great knowing you all. And uh, <laughs> sure, yeah. whatever, whatever. But, but, God, he's what, such but a drama queen. What a way queen. to go out, okay? What a <laughs> way to go out. such a drama out. queen. Yep, drama. <laughs> Because Drama. selling you out cheap. Yeah, see, Tiber's just going to sell you out. Yeah, yeah. exactly. But anyway, anyway, enough about you and your drama queening. Um, we have got some very exciting people to chat with. So our very special guest this week is we have got Ro and Seraphis are joining us. So thank you, guys. Mm -hmm. How are you? Hello. Good. Thanks for uh, having me on, man. I'm excited to be here. Oh. Nice. Yeah. Now you know what <laughs> kind of show this is going to be. There we go. Yeah, it's going to be. Part. It's going to be good. Though, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, it's time of party. That's right. So we're doing a little bit different this week, guys. So for the chat room and for those listening to us, it's uh, not our normal show because you know there is this thing that's coming up in the next, you know, just over a week and a bit. It's mm -hmm. it's only a little tiny thing that's happening don't know if you've heard about it blizzcon it's coming oh, yeah. yeah maybe yep. but there's a lot of things that involved before we get to blizzcon and one of them is come before the storm and the world of podcasts events so we're very excited to have seraphis and roe join us so we can have a chat because guess what stone and i are gonna be there and we're doing stuff and it's all very exciting. So and we had to have you. Stuff and yeah. And, and things. <laughs> exactly. Don't know what those things are, Seraphis. Is oh, that don't you worry bad? about it. It's good for you. Okay. It's probably bad for okay. stuff. It's on a okay. need to know Excellent. basis. Jesus. Thank you. I like that. If it's good mm. for me, bad for him, I'm I'm fine with that. So God. all good. All right. So let's start off. I'll start off with <laughs> we want to know about come before the storm so seraphis let's start off with you and then ro we will talk to you about world of podcasts please so what is come before the storm if you can tell our lovely chat room and our listeners please well it is a community event yes yeah, see starting you thought i was going to go with the notes i put in the show yes no, no i didn't <laughs> i feel <laughs> like i, I should copy and paste those into the chat i mean <laughs> Okay, well, I claimed that it was going to be a wild sax party. You heard me. Tons of sax. Bunch of saxophone players just doing their thing. Fame. That's what I put in there. And I um, just like to mess with Stone. And, but no, it is a community event. Uh, it is sponsored by fans, for fans. And it encompasses a ton of stuff, which includes, but not limited to, World of Podcasts. Uh, it has the meet and greet. It's got a photo booth, a fan art gallery, vendor corner. I mean, it's fireside gathering which was recently announced this past week. Yes. And, mm -hmm. um, so yeah, lots of, lots of things. Basically it's just a good place for the community to come together to kick off BlizzCon. And um, it is, like I said, it is truly a community party. It's made by fans. It's for fans. It's 100% free. It's open all ages. You don't need a BlizzCon badge. You don't need to register. You don't need to buy a ticket. You mm -hmm. can just show up, hang out, meet friends, meet people. Look at art, listen to podcasts live, play Hearthstone, yeah. get a drink or clothing, five. Clo is clothing, like, do you need to? You should probably be clothed right. because, like I said, it is all ages. Oh, So okay. think of the children. Right. You don't yes. want to get put on a list stone. No. Well, yeah, that I'm and the, the Hilton denied our request to make it clothing optional. We tried. 
But yeah. yet they didn't listen to our request for no DJ. Yeah. Oh. So there's that. Great. Okay. Wait, hold on. Okay. So they're again on that night. They're gonna have one down there. I don't know if they're gonna have one that night. We we put in a request that we do not want one. I I have mentioned uh, to Zia, one of the other organizers, that I have been in contact with uh, Liam Neeson. He has a special set of skills, wow. and if there is a DJ in the Hilton and it's the music is way too loud. Uh, he will find them and he will kill them. Mm. On a similar note, I've also been in contact with a celebrity. Their name is Sean Bean and he will be di- dying at our event. Great. What? Wow. Excellent. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Stone. Get with that, my, mind you, sir, I, I was really excited when I saw what you'd written in the show notes because I can play saxophone. Yeah. I can You're actually br- play saxophone. What? I yeah yeah Wait, I haven't she... for, for a long time but do you I... have a saxophone in your home right now no i don't i don't i used to a we long time ago it. but okay yeah. all right internet internet no, i I'm, no, I'm, I'm i need you all to bring a saxophone to blizzcon i will no, do an intermission no where i will put get lita with a saxophone up at the mic on the second floor i will get that happening but someone needs to bring a saxophone no no, you have access to that it's, it's, let's make that it's, happen it's fine but i know it's, it's just a, a, you're right it will be fine it'll be fantastic <laughs> it's it's just it's one of my favorite things i mean because that's what i used to do so i was like there's gonna be a bunch of saxophone players yes i i was so you know mind you i think what we've got be for come before the storm and the amazingness of everything that's going to be there I think I'll be fine that there's no saxophone players, so we're, we're okay. But um, yeah, I, I was I was a little bit tickled pink with the uh, with what you put down, so that's very cool. Hey, Stone, very did you excited. know? Did you know she played sax? No, I have known her for <laughs> over three years. I know lots of things about her, and she knows lots mm-hmm. of things about me. I yes. did not know she played the sax. Well, now you know, and knowing it's half the battle. That now that's you're right. my that's even right. more favorite person because that was one of my favorite <laughs> cartoons. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, thank you, um, Surface, for sharing for wow. Come Before the Storm. It sounds very exciting, and we'll get into a little bit more shortly. Ro, let's talk about World of Podcasts. So, can you tell us exactly what it is? Because obviously, it's encompassed in with running of Come Before the Storm now, but um, mm-hmm. tell us what's happening with and uh, what is it for people? Sure, so World of Podcasts is a huge part of Come Before the Storm. Uh, the, the origins of Come Before the Storm as a community event uh, began with World of Podcasts. This is like the sixth time that World of Podcasts is gonna be here. And uh, it's all about bringing together podcasters uh, that cover Blizzard games, uh, bringing them all under one roof in one space and putting them on panels, uh, having people meet, you know, people from our podcast that they may not normally talk with and just share the same table, share their their love and their hype for all things Blizzard. I make some speculation about what we're going to be seeing the next day and just celebrating the, the community that is podcasting and Blizzard fandom and everything to deal with that. I, I also feel that World of Podcasts serves an important role in Calm Before the Storm because one of the things we tried to do with World of Podcasts at least the past few years, and we'll be continuing to do so this year, is we will make these panels uh, available to download on the World of Podcasts podcast feed. You'll probably hear on a few of the other shows participating as well, but this is a way to get a part of the Calm Before the Storm experience without necessarily being there in person. And I've always found that important. It's like, if we're going to have this unique opportunity where all these different podcasters and creators are under one roof 
uh, why not create something during that moment that can be shared, yeah. not just with the people in attendance at the Hilton, but then from then on afterwards. I mean, it's uh, a great thing to listen to in those uh, moments when you're maybe taking a break from BlizzCon uh, between panels and something like that on the virtual ticket. or Going just to the bathroom. Exercise. Going to the bathroom, sure. I mean, making use of effective toilet time is an important thing. It is. Uh, Multitask. But, yeah, absolutely. Uh, but yeah, it's we have such a, a wide variety of creators from both shows that are very well known in the community and shows that maybe people haven't heard from before. And I hope that one of the things that people get from World of Podcasts is not only the the kind of Avengers Infinity War experience of having all these podcasters together in the most ambitious podcasting crossover ever, uh, but also learning and discovering uh, podcasters that they haven't known about before and then checking out their shows and perhaps uh, they become a new listener of those shows as well. It's it, it's an exciting experience. It, it, it has a lot of about everything I appreciate about podcasting and community and fandom. Uh, it resonates well with everything I do on my podcast. And that's why I am very proud to be one of the organizers for it. Excellent. No, very well, very exciting. So again, there is so much, there is so much that's happening just within like the events that you guys are running, which is so exciting. So let's, Let's go back. So, Ro, I'll start with you on this one. How did it start? Because as you said, you know, World of Podcasts started, uh, what, six years ago? Yeah, it, technically, yeah. time-wise, five years ago because this five. is the sixth one. But, yeah, back in 2013, okay. uh, it started with uh, Seraphis, Zia, Xandar, uh, yep. Then uh, Lignar and Medicakes, uh, who were both from oh the gosh. Epic podcast yeah. at the time, uh, yep. the the five the five of them collaborated and uh, came up with the concept of like having this you know this meetup where just podcasters from all these World of Warcraft podcasts gather under one roof and we just have a, a good time. I I was one of the people who helped in coining the term World of Podcasts. Uh, and that was my small contribution to the thing. But I participated yeah. I participated in the one of the first panels there in 2013. And it started really small, but the, at the Red Lion Hilton, it ended up, we got a far larger reception considering how little we had done into the, the preparation of it. We got a far larger reception than we expected. So much yeah. to the point that we realized, hey, if this happens again next year, we need to go bigger. We need to have more space. We need to be more yeah. prepared and just make it more available for more people. It needs to be more front and center. And I think really Dave can kind of take it from there because uh, World of Podcasts from the beginning uh, has always been a part of this tradition. And for uh, Dave and Heather and, and others involved, it, there's just this motivation to grow upon that. Yeah. Um, I mean, it started off literally as what Rose said was, it was going to just be a meetup. So Lignar, who I had talked to, me and him were just like, let's just get like some place where all these podcasts just meet up and just like network and talk. And then yeah. as soon as like word got out, people were like, are you, are you guys going to be podcasting? Are you guys going to be talking about stuff? We want to be there. And the next thing you know, it was like, uh, okay. So then we started coming up with panels and then next thing you know, like it became this whole thing and people were just donating money at the time through like PayPal, but as Rose said, like it quickly grew at that first event. Like I think the con the conference room type area or ballroom area red line, like fit like 250 people. And mm. uh Zia and I we got approached by the red line say, um, we had to start turning people away because you can't fit any more people in here. Wow. Or wow. you can expand the room. At which point yeah. uh Zia looked at me and elbowed me and I handed over my credit card, which was the start of <laughs> <laughs> uh, which was the start of a long string of financial mistakes on my part but uh um but no so we they literally i handed over my credit card and then they brought workers in there and they opened up the wall to the back to the other uh ballroom that was attached to it wow. so we could fit up to 500 people and we came close wow. to being at capacity again because uh, the yeah. red line was like like you guys are almost at capacity again yeah and we can't expand anymore so we're going to start turning people away if that happens and, um 
So we had just under 500 people at the very first one, and we yeah. did not expect it to be that big at all. Um, tons of mistakes were made from a series of like trying to go through the house audio and everything else. But um, yeah. But no, it was it, it all kind of grew from there. And we're like, we're gonna have to go bigger. And then really that next year, you know, um, Ask Mr. Robot came on board. Um, Daria, who is uh, now the general manager of, of Method, she mm -hmm. came on board to help us as well. And yeah. it was, it quickly, quickly grew. And I realized that this was something really crazy big when, uh, and Roy, you probably remember this. Uh, we were at the, they had a podcaster kind of like, Blizzard hosted the one downstairs in like the Avalon room, which is like a yeah. ballroom just off of the, the bar area. And I was like, oh, I got to go. I got to, like, I went down there, put in space on and I said, I got to go back up where our event's about to start. And there was a line coming down the escalator. And I'm yeah. like, and then when I got upstairs, like the line was like wrapping around upstairs. So I was like, oh my God. We what? were, and that was that first year at the Hilton. We, because we never really done anything quite like this and we were trying to th make things more official. I believe yeah. that year we did like a registration table with signups and stuff like that. Yeah. And it, eventually we, we quickly learned that the, the registration table process in that building, in that setting is just a fiasco. But still, yeah. it, I think one of the things that like really inspired us and amazed us and amazed people who were seeing this for the first time is seeing that line go as long as it did, wrap around corners and such like that, I, I had never seen anything quite like it at an event that was basically put together by a, a, a whole bunch of, of nerds and enthusiasts for, for wow and podcasting and such. And uh, mm. it's one of my favorite memories from BlizzCon is just <laughs> that, that shared moment of exhilaration and absolute panic seeing that line. <laughs> I, I was saying, yeah, like, it's been cool. put on by a bunch of schmucks. I thought that's where you were going to go. I was like, <laughs> I mean, I wish I would have agreed. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Like, and ever since then, like, then, like, came the opportunity to actually have the ballrooms on the second floor. And, um, mm -hmm. which, uh, it's, it's funny. What most people don't realize is the Hilton and the Marriott are the two hotels that Blizzard has these deals with that you basically have to get Blizzard's blessing to have these mm -hmm. events. So right. Blizzard asks you all the details about what your event is. We have to fill out forms that yep. Blizzard reviews and says, yep, we're okay with you having your event here. Wow. And okay. so, so like it was, it's, it was funny because um, the first year, I think we were in the ballrooms, uh, Mike Morheim came in and asked me what it was. And I want to say, dude, you should know. <laughs> you you guys had to bless these forms in like your meetings but but that was actually one of my like favorite moments was him coming in and just asking about the event and looking around and then yep. pointing to some of the posters on the wall and it's like weren't those up in um oh my god I'm, I'm spacing on the guy's name he was an executive who left the time um i want to say simon yeah. anyway so some of the employees basically took the posters out of his office after he left Blizzard and mm -hmm. gave them to us to use in our art gallery. Oh, and, wow. Um, oh, wow. And these were like the originals. Wow. These are the ones they made reprints of for like Warcraft yeah. 3 and Diablo mm -hmm. 2. Like, so that was, it, that was pretty, that wow. was pretty crazy that like Blizzard employees were like get, going and getting that stuff for us. And um, yeah. it's really just kind of blown up from there, uh, especially with last year at the meet and greet, um, like Taryn Gregory and, and, and Colin Gilbert yeah. and, and Devin Marie all wanted to be part of it. And then this year in the meet and greet, I, I, know, I don't know if we're at that point yet, but I'm pretty excited with um, the Blizzard representation yet again this year. So looks yeah, amazing. It, it's really, the growth of it has been amazing because of course, when, uh, World of Podcasts and Con Before the Storm essentially started, uh, we were all primarily focused on, of course, World of Warcraft. Uh, mm -hmm. At the very first World of Podcasts, Hearthstone didn't yet exist. Heroes of the Storm and Overwatch weren't a thing. And so yeah. as, as the years have gone by and as gamers 
we've kind of evolved and we've tried out these other Blizzard games and found out, hey, we're big fans of them. And people have latched on to doing podcasting for those games. So the event was evolving as well. And in addition to that, um, uh, Seraphis and Zia recognized, and uh, rightfully so, that this shouldn't just be a gathering of podcasters, but it should be just a celebration of community in general. So you're talking cosplayers, you're talking uh, bloggers, content creators, Twitch streamers, and they've just put a really strong focus into making this uh, not just a thing about podcasting, but just about community in general. And I feel like Although BlizzCon doesn't officially have a third day, World of Podcasts and Calm Before the Storm help serve as being that third day of BlizzCon because more than any other day of BlizzCon week, I think that is your best opportunity to get up close and personal with all these wonderful people that make up the community. That's true. Wow. It's, I mean, I, it's amazing. That sounded a lot more eloquent than the way I would have put it. It was it was very good. Well, I'm a straight was, guy here. Service, See, listen, you know that. that that's why we asked Ro on because that's, you know I wanted yeah. somebody that could give Into us the straight yang, goods. Sir. And I mean, behind the scenes, it's just a shit show. Wow. Well, it, it, that's the funny good thing job, about this sir. too. I mean, it, we go, it, it, Seraphis and I, we go through this process every year where, you yeah. know, we're both working together as a team on this, but it's very, really much in like a buddy cop way. Uh, he, I'm like the Jackie Chan and he's the Chris Tucker, I'd like to say. And <laughs> we always seem to argue about that. some of the stupidest stuff at some point. Yeah, I'm Jackie yeah. Chan. What about it? I will fight you in the street. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> but, <laughs> But at the end of the day, you know, we make it work. We bring it together. Mm. We see someone fall onto a roof of a car, realize he's not going to be in rush hour three. And we think <laughs> about the next one. Actually, I'm trying to think. I don't think we really argued about anything this year. We didn't No, which is weird. It, it almost makes me wonder if that's a bad sign. If the end times are coming <laughs> or something. Touch wood, crick, darn, crick, mm. darn. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, still got mm. taste. Anyway. All right. So. That's a really thank you for all that information because it's amazing to hear you know how we're, how it's grown from world of podcasts into Combi for the storm and the whole the whole thing because it's it's massive like what you guys have all where it started to where it is now amazing so congratulations and very excited to be just to see you guys and have have some fun with it this year oh yeah and stone will be there too be that's cool by the way <laughs> i'm going to put it out because this is probably a good time because stone is going to be there yes. my yes. guild has a challenge because whenever stone curses in front of his wife his wife punches him so my guild started up this like pool where if you can yeah. get him to curse in front of his wife she punches him it's a good thing so um all you out there, if you can get Stone to curse in front of his wife while at BlizzCon, she will punch him. And we need we need pictures, video. And of course, if we get enough video, we could probably put a collaboration together. And make like, a montage out of it. Yeah, put make a montage. Nice music behind it. And we could probably post yeah. it on like Pornhub or something, whatever. Sure. <laughs> nice. Okay. All right. Well, you know, challenge accepted. I'd, I'd say there'll be various people that may you know, may want to take that up, which is, which is very good. Jesus. So what I want to know, what I want to know <laughs> now is for you guys with how it's grown over the years with, you know, with the amount of stuff that's going on with Combi for the Storm and World of Podcasts, unexpected challenges. Obviously there is many things that you guys have to deal with. Like, so many that we probably can't comprehend everything that goes into how these events come to be because everyone rocks up and they're like yay it's awesome and then they go whereas you know you guys have been planning this probably for the whole year since the last one finished yeah you've you've spent the whole year planning since february this. march yeah so a fair fair chunk of the year so unexpected challenges whether it's like good bad whatever you want to say so seraphis for you what 
what's something that you have had to deal I, with? I, I, I have like a laundry list uh, from <laughs> unexpected uh, taxes. Taxes are probably one of the oh, things what? because they change like every year because oh, the money that we make okay. through Kickstarter and yep. whatnot, like that, that all has to be filed and every year it changes and how yep. they like, and if you go over a certain threshold, so like it, that, that's always been a challenge and sometimes we don't plan the best for it because like none of us are accountants. So like, we don't know if the, it's going to change or not. And that's, that's, there's, um, the turnover or not necessarily turnover per se, but the different people at Blizzard who actually like work at the Hilton to book, like say the, the Blizzard, um, uh, the dinner, the benefit dinner. Mm -hmm. So that's always a challenge because like, while they'll sign off on the form to say, yes, we're allowed to have our event. Sometimes like the past two years, there's been new people at Blizzard who have tried to book the ballrooms that we normally are in. And then right. we've had to get, actually get the community managers to help us like say, don't take those ballrooms. Like we are about to book them. Like yeah. stop it. Um, yeah. So like, and then it's just like a host of, of like little things that we like changing of schedules, people's schedules change, like mm -hmm. people's plans change. I mean, it's um, blizzard, blizzard changing rehearsal times for a lot of the people at meet and greets is probably one of the biggest challenges because as far as the notes, they'll be like, Oh, we need to change this or, Oh, we can't give you your practice schedule esports team until yep. like three days beforehand. And the esports team is still like, we need to know our practice schedule. Not just yeah. for so we can do conference storm, but because we need to plan out travel. Like you yeah. need to tell us things. So, um, and it's funny. I've actually talked with some people at Blizzard, and they're like, "Yeah, that is a challenge on our part. We need to do better at that." Um, but uh, I, I mean, it's just like a lot of like the little things, the scheduling and and the unexpected stuff. Like I said, the biggest unexpected financial thing is always the taxes. That's yeah. always the the biggest like kind of gotcha that that sneaks up on us um mm -hmm. and it's just because my god people can we just vote and vote in politicians who don't change the tax code like every single year <laughs> like that would be nice that's what i would like like we don't need to change taxes every year to where we're like okay well we could plan on the same taxes last year nope it changes so even though yeah. like here in the u.s most people's taxes went down this year guess what like we think that the taxes for our event is actually going to go up and we're going to pay that oh yeah, wow. so there's like certain things that didn't change or went. Uh, it, it's it's frustrating because it's one of those. I hate not knowing what I don't know, and unfortunately, we don't have the funds to go out and like purchase like a serious accountant to be able to tell us like mm -hmm. this is how much you're gonna have to pay next year. Uh, yeah. So think, we kind of have to guess at it. And I think uh, I, <laughs> I think uh, Kevin is uh, you know saying that he might want to do the job. Yeah, but I, but I don't know if he's any good. <laughs> um, but no, I, I would say the the yeah the biggest challenge is always going to just be uh, scheduling is is always yeah. the one that's the biggest gotchas because as soon as I mean we've seen it already with World of Podcasts is like when we think we have things scheduled like someone has to change something something's come up where we have to move a time yeah. or we have to move someone around we have to move someone from one panel to another. Yeah. Um, so a lot of times when you're like, why can't you announce this schedule? It's like, be because people are moving things around, we're trying to finalize yeah. things. We're trying to get confirmation. We're trying to get to a, a certain point. And it's, look, it's just as frustrating on us because we're so excited to get this news out in front of people. We're like, why can't we just say things? And it's because yeah. we don't want to tell you something that's like, oh, now we're going to change it again. Yeah. And, and I, 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 I'm sorry. sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, and I suppose this is something like with scheduling and changes and this will literally go right up until what the events even started and things could day still. Of. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah day of. I, day of, like last, last year, uh, I had to move around four different people on the meet and greet schedule. Wow. I couldn't get to the website to update it, but we had oh. to come up with a way to kind of announce it better or display it better. And uh, we used like whiteboard stuff and it still yeah. wasn't like the most ideal situation, but that's why I had to put like schedule is tentative and subject to change because. Yeah. No, I mean, we're, we're, we're literally at the whim of, of the blizzard schedule. Cause a lot of these people, a lot of people who we have, especially at the meet and greet are either casters who are doing rehearsals. 
and yeah. uh, or the personalities who are running direct TV or esports teams who are doing practice. And um, we have to be mindful of that. And um, yeah. this is, it's not like, oh, well, it, it's just rehearsal. No, they're getting paid to do a job. So I, yeah, this is fun. So it's just like in everyone's job. It's like, work comes first and then you can play later. So I, yeah. we have to respect that and we have to adjust for that. And something yeah. that goes hand in hand with just the, the scheduling stuff is communication in general. Uh, I would mm-hmm. say that the, the greatest challenge for me, I, the bulk of my work in World of Podcasts is just reaching out to all the shows, finding out, hey, we're doing this. Are you interested? Uh, sign, sign up on this Google form. Uh, give us your information. We'll be back in touch with you. And this whole thing, I have this spreadsheet of like contact info, Twitter accounts, emails and stuff like that. And just the whole process of reaching out to people, having them respond in a hopefully timely manner. And then once you've got that together and you figure out, okay, we're going to put these people here and these people on this panel and do all of this. Then there's the process of reaching out to them again, saying, this is what we've got for you. Uh, read over our code of conduct policy. Let's get you into the Discord channel for your panel. And just all of these uh, logistics that a lot of people don't realize exist. I, mm. It's something that, ki- that can be one of the biggest challenges in putting this together. Not that anyone's trying to, you know, willfully or mal- maliciously b- bog things down, but uh, one thing that we have to realize, of course, is that uh, what we do on our online lives often takes a backseat to stuff that's happening offline, you know, with work, mm-hmm. family, all that stuff. And that applies to to the organizers and, and myself as well. So you have that going along as well. And what might seem like a pretty simple process in the world of Twitter, social media, and Discord, and email, and all these ways to contact people, it can actually, all those channels can sometimes slow things down. Uh, but my biggest gripe, I think, when doing this stuff is I hate email communication because people never respond to it, and I <laughs> seem to always get their response on Twitter. But even yeah. then, there's always going to be those three or four people that kind of slipped through the cracks. Uh, I, I had one show that uh, didn't have an official email address and they got back to me like just a couple weeks ago and said, Hey, we saw these panels were set up. Uh, no one contacted us. And, you know, I goofed there because I did, I forgot that they didn't have an email. So I'm like, Ugh. so I'm far, I'm far from perfect in putting this together. But at the same time, there's, there's some shows that and I remember bringing this to your attention that have emails on their, like their websites that were bouncing back. And we yeah. like, what, I mean, what, oh. what do you want us to do here? So, yeah, um, it, yeah I'd say communication is is challenging, and, and it kind of goes mm. also hand in hand with the scheduling because a lot of my scheduling, especially yeah. with some of these people, I have to go through email. And some of these people, I have to work through their agencies, and um, so that's the other big challenge. Is like I, I would agree, communication, yeah. or especially around scheduling. Yeah, I think they go hand in hand. It's yes, yeah. it's, it's challenging for sure. Okay. All right. Very, very interesting. Thank you for that. So when I put down this question, Stone and I, we're excited to see what you have to say about this one. But over the the past five years, we want to know about unexpected special surprises. So like what has been your favorite? Something's happened that you weren't expecting and you're just like, whoa this you know this has happened at com before the storm world of podcasts what has it been so what's yours set what's been your special well surprise? so uh, I, I well i kind of brought that up with mike morheim walking in and being really impressed mm-hmm. by by the whole thing and asking questions yeah. but i would say for this year though um so i'm, I'm gonna kind of also kind of plug in the meet and greet so yep. we have we have taryn gregory who's joining us mm-hmm. again from blizzard this year for the meet and greet and i had i had contacted christy golden and i didn't hear anything back and but i used the email address off of her side i didn't try using her blizzard email address yep. but she was she was so excited by seeing that taryn was so excited about this 
and Celestial on being excited about this, that she reached out and said, can I be part of this too? And that just blew me away. <gasps> and, wow. And I am, I was, um, for any of the organizers who could see on the back end, our, I, I was over the moon with the fact that she wanted to be part of it. And I was, I am, I'm, I'm starstruck and totally excited about her being there. And, um, yeah. And I'm just going to I'm going to pull the organizer card and I'm going to say I I'm going to skip the line and I'm going to get my Arthas book signed <laughs> because well, I think she is allowed. my favorite. Nice. She is she's one of my favorite writers. She's yes. been for a very very long time and um, yeah, yeah I am so stoked that she is like I want to be there and I'm like that is that's awesome. That's like like there's so many people that I want to meet but. When I saw that she was on, I'm like, that's it. I don't care what happens. I have to meet her. And There's going to be a good it, line for her. Sign my mm -hmm. arm, maybe. Sign my chest. I don't know. Wow. I'll get it tattooed. I don't care. <laughs> wow. Like, she, I love her. I do. I love her. She's awesome. And that she video will amazing. also go on Pornhub. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Brightstone, what? you look like you're, uh, you're getting a little tingling in the face there. Yeah, a little bit. I might need another beer. One beer. I, one might, beer. I, might, I might need another beer. Get another beer, Stone. Okay. <laughs> Stone, you got 12 days. You need to get, you need to get the practicing here. It's not going to happen, man. It's going to be a good show. All right. So thank you, Seraphis, for that, because that is they're both amazing moments. First off, Mike Morheim. Wow. But, yeah. Oh, very exciting. So, Ro, what about for you? What has yours been? I, I'd say 2014 was a very pivotal year as far as like the, the growth of the event and such like that, because of mm -hmm. course it was being the first year at the Hilton. And uh, at the time, it was still a relatively small event in terms of the, the, the variety of podcasters and the amount of podcasters that we had gathered together. Uh, yeah. While this was going on, uh, I'm sure all of you are familiar with Scott Johnson, you know, podcaster for the instance, one of the, the biggest Blizzard WoW podcasts out there. At the time, uh, yeah, no, no, I'm sure. Uh, at the time, Scott and the instance and stuff, they weren't on board with the, with the program, not because they didn't want to, they just really weren't aware. And I felt like we weren't worthy or <laughs> it's just, or more or less. And this was at a time where I, I never even really met the guy in person. Hadn't really said yeah. much to him at all. Uh, so in 2014, we're doing our panels uh, at the Hilton, stuff like that. And uh, just like for Seraphis, Mike Morheim walking into the CBTS and asking questions about him while I'm, you know, watching this one panel happen, I see Scott and his wife and kids come in and they just take a seat in the audience yeah. And they're, they're just, you know, sitting down and watching it and taking it in and enjoying it. And during the question and answer portion for it, I, Scott raises his hand and has a question. And, you know, he stands up and he says, yeah, I have a question. And then the crowd goes freaking nuts. And, and yeah. that was an awesome moment. And then after that panel, I, he, I was off to the side and he approached me and he, and he said, Hey, this is a really amazing thing that you guys have put together as someone, you know, because uh, Scott, of course, knows uh, Scott's done the whole nerdtacular thing for a number of years. And he knows what putting that kind of event together takes in terms of logistics and everything. He said, yeah, I'm, I'm just really impressed with this. And, uh, and he had mentioned, and that's when he said, Hey, are you guys going to do this next year? And I said, we'd like to. And he said, I'm, I'm totally on board for helping out if you'll have me. And uh, from there, uh, Scott's been involved as uh, a participant or a moderator uh, every year since. And at, with him, with him on board, I think that also caught the notice of uh, just a number of other people, both inside and outside the podcasting community. And I yeah. feel that that just brought more and more attention to it. Uh, and then just that also that same year, one of the few World of Warcraft designers that I was familiar with and that I knew who was uh, who had quite a bit of visibility on Twitter was Corey Stockton. Uh, I'm not sure if he's on specifically on the WoW team anymore. I know he's still with Blizzard, but he was responsible for things like the battle pet system, Mr. Pandaria, and a, a lot of the the, the kind of 
side content, collectible content and stuff like that. And I recognized him and just I approached him when the thing was done and said, hey, thanks for showing up. We're glad you can make it. And he was just like, yeah, this is great. And and he said, who came up with this? And I told him kind of the story. It's like, well, last year we did this and we're uh, decided to move it to the Hilton. And he's like, well, this is a really awesome th- uh, thing and such. And he, he was just impressed with it. I, I think it was just when we do this thing, when we yeah. create this thing, we are not doing this for, <laughs> we're not doing this to become famous or popular or anything for that. Uh, this whole or experience. make money or make money <laughs> and because not making I, money. Qu- I quite a few very clear. Yeah, the, <laughs> m- most years I think uh, we've lost money <laughs> because of expense. Well, not too much, but simply expenses at the end end up being more than you think, and there's a whole tax thing and stuff. But mm-hmm. at, at, at the end of the day, we do this because we're passionate about the community. We love bringing this together, and we love just kind of making a difference for everyone's BlizzCon experience. And when you get that feedback from people who attend, you know, whether they're people like Scott Johnson or Corey Stockton, or they're just simply someone who is a fan of games and has been vis- and just is seeing this for their first time, and they approach you and they say, hey, this is awesome. I really enjoyed myself and stuff like that. And you hear later on, like after the fact, they say that uh, p- people get asked like what their highlight of BlizzCon is. And when you hear some people say that their highlight of BlizzCon is Con Before the Storm and World of Podcasts, that makes it all worth it. Yeah. That would be an amazing feeling. I mean, obviously, for you guys, what has come before and what's happening this year it's mind-boggling and staggering how these things come to be but thank you I know from mine and Stone's perspective I know he had so much fun there last year didn't you Stone it was you just have to look at the photos to see how much fun so terrified but yes lots of fun (laughs) But, you know, it looks like so many people had so much fun. So really, really excited for this year. And it's not far away. Like, literally, it's coming up very close. Yeah. uh, Let's see. We have 12 days, one hour, 39 minutes, and 58 seconds. Uh, For me, it begins sooner than that. Well, (laughs) well, that's just for the kickoff of Come Before the Storm, by the way. Yeah. That's that's not for when people arrive. That's like, Come Before the Storm starts in 12 days, one hour, 39 minutes, 46 seconds. Wow. Not that anyone's counting. No. (laughs) Not much. Not that I'm watching the ticking clock and freaking out every single day. Yeah. Yes. All right. So can you tell us the times, et cetera, of when? Because, again, we know when and where, but give us just a quick rundown of what we've got. So, Ro, what sure. have we got for? So because it, when the, one of the things with World of Podcasts is because – uh, interest in participating in World of Podcasts has grown and grown, especially over the last couple of years, because we're covering all the Blizzard games, or almost all of them. Uh, sorry, StarCraft. Uh, <laughs> because there's so much interest in it, we have had over 55 podcasts. Uh, really, when some of these people are on multiple podcasts like YouTube, it's really more like over 60 podcasts are being represented here. So because there's so many podcasts, I... Uh, we have more people that want to participate than we have time at the Hilton. So what we decided to do last year, and we're continuing it this year, is we've created a couple of additional panels that are going to be live streamed at twitch.tv slash con before storm. And those are known as the pod before the con. And uh, that's happening on October 28th. It's going to start at 7 p.m. Eastern time, 4 p.m. Pacific time. The first part of that pod before the con is going to be specifically on World of Warcraft. And that will be followed up a few hours later. Uh, that that Warcraft one's going to be moderated by Medros from All Things Azeroth. And we have a bunch of great uh, WoW podcasts participating in that, including WoW Challenges. Stone will be on that one. Hmm. Uh, then at 10 p.m. Eastern time, uh, also twitch.tv slash con before storm. I will be moderating a more general Blizzard-themed 
uh, version of the pod before the con, and we will also be talking uh, a bit about previewing con before the storm overall in this event too. Uh, we'll have we'll have podcasters from uh, the Hearthstone podcast. We'll have a technically PvP represented there. Uh, the Freezing Nomad Bard's Tavern, which is hosted by uh, Jay the Bard, who is the uh, contest winner from the talent contest mm-hmm. last year. We've got Cool Story Bro representing Diablo, uh, Perfect Nomad from the Freezing Nomad podcast, and then some guy named Seraphis from the Sundering, I think, is going to be there. What an okay. asshole. Yeah. Wow. Oh, I mean, By the way, really have to can, I, can I just put out one request? Because I've actually had a couple yeah. people bring this up to me. Uh, mm-hmm. Perfect Nomad. All right. Currently on Twitter, he has 666 followers, and that's bothering <laughs> some people. So can someone just go and follow him, please? <laughs> I, I, well, I, I, it's I, Halloween. I, it's the perfect time of year for that. He I, might be making that in time. Perfect number. Exactly. I, I, I wish I could like I wish I was like making this up, but please go go follow someone go follow perfect. <laughs> Done. Number, so that, gonna look. Cause, Done. Cause cause thank you. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> But Hilarious. yeah, one thing that I've forgotten to mention, though, speaking of Perfect Nomad, um, he's actually also been uh, an important part of the whole process this year for World of Podcasts because uh, he uh, has been our connection. He works with uh, the marketing group with uh, Medieval Times in California, and mm-hmm. he helped bring together this whole partnership uh, deal with Medieval Times, where Medieval Times has thrown a lot of support into World of Podcasts, and uh, we're really appreciative of that. I mean, quite honestly, uh, World of Podcasts may have not happened this year without Medieval Times support, so I I will pimp Medieval Times out any opportunity yes. I can get. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, but yeah, so that's the pod before the con. Uh, that's mm-hmm. happening again on the 28th. And then that takes us up to con before the storm itself. And uh, I, of course, uh, we'll have World of Podcasts there. World of Podcasts is going to run from 5 p.m. to 11 p.m. up on the uh, fourth okay. floor of the Hilton. Mm-hmm. And that will start off with the kickoff panel at 5 p.m., uh, followed by panels for Heroes of the Storm, Hearthstone, uh, War- uh, World of Warcraft, and Overwatch in that order. Uh, tons of participants there. My best advice is go to combeforestorm.com, uh, then click on the World of Podcasts link underneath the features, and that will show you everyone who's participating. Just way too many people to list without putting uh, Seraphis to sleep here. Oh, it's okay. I'm just... Giving strong crap behind the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, that that's where the podcast it will also have on Saturday uh, a wrap up sh- show that's going to be recorded somewhere on the grounds around BlizzCon. Uh, we're still figuring out the the last details on that and we'll have a, a few final participants from podcasts coming together and just recapping the announcements and big news from BlizzCon and uh, just talking about, you know, what was great what they thought of the demos and the big announcements and we'll be wrapping up world of podcasts that way. And again, if you miss this stuff live at twitch.tv slash com before storm, uh, you will also be able to find it on the world of podcasts feed that can be found on iTunes. I think yeah, surface, you have it on Google play too, right? It should be on Google as well. Yes. Yeah. And I believe you should be able to find it on, if you can't find it on Spotify yet, we will make an effort to get it available on Spotify by the time you hear this. People who are paying for Spotify, you guys are so fancy. <laughs> your fanciness. It's awesome it's, though. But yeah, that, that's all world of podcast stuff. I think uh, Seraphis can well, talk about all the other things happening. Well, the, well, the only okay. thing about world of podcasts I do want to bring up is mm. like some of the panels are working on doing some live streams on the Com Before Storm uh, Twitch channel. Please yeah. make sure to follow that. Like they've already done an Overwatch one where uh, Stone and I actually got to play against some of them and we <laughs> won on. and we're terrible. Yes. <laughs> yes. Which, <laughs> yep. which wow. I don't know what that says about our Overwatch panelists, but. Wow. I mean, I tell everyone, like, if there was a plaid league, that's where I would be. Wow. Um, so, but, hey, we, we did pretty good. Actually, yeah. I think we had, like, a diamond league, like, carry, though. So I think no. that helped. No. No? 
No. Yeah, we're, we're trying we're trying this year to do some, you know, before event things featuring some of the panelists. It's this has kind of been like our first year to make that work. So it's definitely a work in progress. <laughs> but uh, we're we're hoping to bring even more content, uh, n you know, this year and hopefully in future years, uh, it'll be even bigger. Blazing Bob in the channel says they were drinking. Well, I got news for you, buddy. Oh, well. So were we. <laughs> so were we. Yeah. I think um, actually our panel, we are going to be trying to do a stream tomorrow morning at. Doing some dungeon running, I think, right? Yes. At 930. But anyways, uh, I will tweet it out and all that stuff. So too. cool. So um, yeah, I think we're doing classic raids and stuff. And nice. Things. So go definitely go check that out. Um, mm -hmm. And then, Thanks, so for the rest, yeah, go check out Stone. Are you going to be drinking early in the morning? Is it going to have like a morning beer? It's going to be 930 in the morning. <laughs> That's what Bloody Marys and Mimosas are for, right? Wow. Right, Lena? Help me out here. Wow. Yeah, I, I totally agree. It, it, I it's, Saturday, it's Saturday. It's not like you have to be at work. Why not? Wow. Irish coffee, Stone. Wow. Shaw Jameson and your coffee. Good he knows what he's talking about. I mean, I, yeah, I mean, half my blood, I mean, yeah, it is <laughs> wow. alcohol. You, Surface is like basically made up beer? of bacon and booze. I, let, let's just be clear. This is, this is all true. This is true. But uh, all right, so, so Ro kind of gave the lowdown on, on World of Podcast feature. Um, mm -hmm. The rest of Common for the Storm um, is is happening on both the second and fourth floor. Uh, so World of will be on the fourth floor of the Anaheim Hilton. The other thing yep. that will be happening at the fourth floor of the Anaheim Hilton is our official Hearthstone Fireside Gathering. Mm -hmm. So there's kind of like this nice little lounge area that we did it last year at. Root, who is from um, Hearthcast, uh, he did it last yep. year. This year we got Bites, mm -hmm. who is awesome. We have a full page on our website dedicated to giving details around that. It starts at 6 o'clock and will end at 10. Uh, mm -hmm. It is free. So we have that going on down on the second floor that's where we have our meet and greet we have our art gallery that's where we have our photo booth we have our vendors um the Boost. Boost. the the room will officially open uh for the meet and greet at six but pre-party folks yeah. would be able to come in a little earlier okay vendors will start selling also a little bit earlier as well meet and greet starts six new participants will be coming on every hour um i mean our this year's meet and greet is probably one of my absolute uh, favorites. Uh, we is our largest one to date. We have a lot of returning folks. Um, I can go through and I can list a ton of them. I've already mentioned Christy Golden, Taryn Gregory, Celeste Alon, uh, Devin Marie. Um, yeah. Jesse Cox. We, Jesse Cox will be back. Michelle Morrow will be back. Uh, um, we got uh, Hazel, Hazel Nutty. Uh, games will be there mm -hmm. which is great because my guild personally <laughs> has used her guides um and i've actually it's funny because me and her we tried working on a project like a couple of years ago and it never really took off and then like it's it's come full circle uh fabelina will be there we have heroes hype heroes heart we have method all throughout the night i'm really excited about jinx being there this year um because they are going to have their co-founder their head of design mm -hmm. and their head of esports Wow. will be there to talk to people which um cool. so people were just like oh jinx is gonna be there sell stuff no they're not and i'm excited about this because the very first year we did a meet and greet jinx was there and they had some of these folks there talking to people and it was people have been begging me to try and get them back to do this uh yeah. again and we finally are getting a chance to do that so i'm very excited we have excels angels which is one of the mdi uh teams who will be there they will be there as mm -hmm. well Oh, I mean, I could just like rattle. Talias and Nevitel, a couple yep, of the they, biggest WoW YouTube content creators out there, in my opinion. Uh, two people who I wasn't sure if they would if they would be there uh, because they they have uh, some big news. If you didn't hear, is Bajir and Workout Jen? They will be there. Mm -hmm. And for those of you who don't know, uh, they are expecting their first child. Yeah, baby. Uh, so that is really exciting. So, but they they will be there. Uh, don't expect them to stay for multiple hours like they've done in the past, uh, probably because. Yeah. She's probably going to want to get get some rest. Uh, like I said, we have tons of folks from Heroes Hearth going to be there. Um, we have uh, Little Sparks, uh, Gillyweed, uh, Wade, Anna. Tempo Storm will be back, uh, and Tempo Storm's mm -hmm. coming in force. They have 
They're going to have 12 representatives, not just their team, but they're going to have their president there. Uh, Really excited. And Icy Veins, when I reach out to them, they are sending like almost every single writer they have. Uh, They, yeah, yeah. Blood Blood Death Knight will Unholy? will definitely be represented. Um, they Unholy? they have they have that author there, so yeah. uh, huh? What about the master spec? <sighs> right. And uh, well, I will I will tell you the the writers for the specs. I'll tell you how about that. Um, so if you are any of these specs, you can ask them questions. All right, here we go. Uh, I'm gonna pull this up. Better than we got Prot Pally. We have Balance Druid. We have Assassination and Outlaw Rogue. We are going to have Arms Fury Warrior. We will have Vengeance Demon Hunter. We will have, um, let's see, we have uh, the Havoc Demon Hunter. We have uh, Feral Druid, Enhancement Shaman, Blood Decay. We have um, Hearthstone and Heroes of Storm. We do not have their Unholy Rider. I am sorry, Stone, but I am. Set of Priest, Destruction Warlocks. No, we do not have any wow. of those. Sorry. Those are the ones Sir, we have. But we got... You need to get your crap in gear. Yeah. You know, these, the, <laughs> I the agree thing on is, that. The thing is, pretty much every writer who is going from Icy Veins mm-hmm. to BlizzCon is going to be at our event. Um, That's very cool. And then the other thing that is really, really exciting, guys. I don't know if you've seen this, but it's the cosplay group called Project Ebon Blade. Uh-huh. Yes. So I don't know if you know what this is, but this is a cosplay group that's basically taking like different characters and essentially doing a Death Knight version of them. Mm-hmm. And it's headed up by Zach Fisher, who does a lot of the costume designing for people such as like Jessica McGeary, who is also part of this group. She's not going to be there, but we have several of the folks in this cosplay group who will be there, which is super wow. exciting. Um, and uh, as a death knight in the game, I am extra excited about all this. And on top of that, we are finalizing some details up on some additional affiliate and new partner streamers like we did last year, which was a huge, huge success. Um, and probably one of my, one of my absolute favorite things is, is, um, as Ro knows, one of the things that I like doing with world podcasts was getting some of the smaller podcasts interacting with the larger podcasts to get help them gain exposure and i like doing the same thing with streamers uh now too um as ro mentioned i want to involve all the community and i feel that this is pretty exciting in fact last year i believe two of the affiliates who were at the meet and greet became partners and while i don't want to say that our event directly relates to that i hope we helped in some some way and i hope we can help some more folks get on the path to partner i am surprised seraphis that You've spent the past five minutes talking about all these additional features happening at Con Before the Storm, and you've forgotten the most important one. Like the, the reason the reason why people should go to Con Before the Storm instead of hanging out in the lobby of the Hilton. The bartenders. Yes. Thank you. Uh, yeah, our bartenders. We have a lot of them. Okay. And um, if you are foolish enough to get in line at the Hilton bar instead of coming up to mm-hmm. our event to get a drink... Well, that's on you. You will literally sober up in line trying to get another drink downstairs. <laughs> okay. So, um, look, it's your dime if that's what you want to do. But I think that's kind of a waste of your your time, and you could be having fun and drinking at the same time. Uh, just don't get belligerent um, and and stupid, or else we will have you removed. We have secret ninjas, and I just told you that we had secret ninjas, and wow. they're not secret anymore. So, um, disregard everything I just said. Can you edit out the last like 30 seconds, Stone? Can I you do don't that? edit anymore. So, God, you are so edit. lazy. So, what? basically, so lazy. we had somebody on zero edits, uh, one, one uh, week, and we used to be a, a clean show. And uh, that week, we had a guest on that I just wasn't gonna do all the uh, bits and stuff and uh since then we don't have a clean uh tag now and i'll give you mm-hmm. three guesses on who that is some it's somebody that you know with a b starts with a b pwn cast oh yeah she, okay. she 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 <laughs> she, right. she ruined our clean tag it was just gone done gone that's wrecked fun. it uh, wrecked it 
Yeah. Um, most important, hang on. Most important question I need to ask because obviously oh, no. there's a oh, bar. No. no there's no. alcohol. Multiple bars. Multiple, there's multiple. no coffee. Yeah. Where's the coffee? No. No. Lita. Lita. Yeah, you I don't drink. Go. I so, can't so, drink. Okay, well, Where's here's the, the thing. There's a Starbucks in the lobby of the Hilton. So you know what? You go there. Okay. Wait, what? And, All right. But we're not serving coffee at our event. We're serving alcohol. We're serving booze. Okay. No, what? I can't do I can't do booze. I literally cannot oh, do booze. So fine. I have uh, to do coffee, Seraphis. I <laughs> understand. Fine. I'll go I, to Starbucks. Starbucks fine. You can get Coke at the bars, but I mean, what's the point? No. It's uh, okay. Why, why pay six dollars for a Coke at the bar? Eh? If, well, you're gonna pay, actually, if you're gonna pay several dollars for a drink at the bar, you do it right. Yeah. So so Stone and I had this conversation. There is a reason why you pay six dollars for a Coke at the bar. It's because you just want the glass with the ice. Because two words, pants liquor. <laughs> you get one of the you get one of those cruise flats, you fill it up with alcohol, you can buy it at CVS or you can bring your own, pack it in your bag. <laughs> And you fill that up, and then you know what? what either you can make your own mixed drink yourself mm -hmm. and save the money, or you just down the Coke real fast, and then you just fill it up and have, like, whiskey on the rocks. Chaser, yeah. Right. Yeah. There you go. Hmm. Pants okay. liquor. Okay. That's... Nice. It checks out. Jesus, Stone. Nice. Really? Nice. Really? You're worried every, about me? Start every show, time you're the one, you like... say pants liquor, that's what I think of. I think of liquor. Like you licked her, like pants liquor. Like you want to lick the pants. <laughs> Keep on saying it, sir. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> um, so I was gonna get punched a lot. But yeah, I'm adding a few more to the list. Wow. Um, okay. So, wow. thank you guys for sharing so much about both Combi for the Storm and World of Podcasts. And again, I think we're all super excited, and we can't wait to be there and and to participate and to just take in the ambience and all of that so it's all very exciting what i want to know though now is how your week's been in wow in game because we are a wow podcast so um ro first off what have you been doing in game I, to be honest i haven't been doing a whole lot simply because these last couple of weeks before blizzcon with preparations and stuff keeps me fairly busy for a number of reasons, so I don't get in the game yeah. too often, but uh, I have been trying to keep up with uh, my casual raid team who is doing normal old year. Uh, we are now, I want to say, we have four bosses down on normal. We're a very casual group, but we're, we're happy with our progression. Uh, going to be nice. working on uh, Vec... No, not Vectus. We got down Vectus. We're going to be working on the the bug one i want to, trying to think of what it is but uh but we're going to continue progression on sunday that'll probably be my last one before blizzcon uh but along with that i've been continuing the reputation grind and i got exalted with the tortolans so hey uh a row nice. made it a row made it to exalted all i have left is i, I like think it. Uh, Talanji's the Talanji's expedition. It's the last one I need to get to Exalted, and then mm -hmm. I'm good. So yeah, uh, that that's okay. basically been my week. Okay, all right, Seraphis, what about you? What have well, you been doing? Well, other than putting up with Stone and his terrible jokes in your chat channel and also in our guild raids, uh, we've been raiding. Um, mm -hmm. And honestly, this past week was was pretty good. We we killed two new bosses this past week. We killed Vectus and Feather Devourer on Heroic. Mm -hmm. uh, so that was really awesome. Um, we, great progress there. And uh, um, did you read the chat? I think uh, you need to read the chat, sir. Oh, there cash me inside. We lost a row. That's okay. The, he said he was the dog with his pants. Oh wait. Oh. Huh. LB hitting the problems. button after Azul. Yep. It was LB. Remember when we all fell into the pit? <gasps> it was LB. <laughs> Thanks, LB. So, so Sorry, for those LB. of you who don't know, we, we, we raced through normal to try and get folks gear. And when mm -hmm. Zool died this past week, we're going to call this yep. guy out. So Zool died. Um, you go and you loot him. Well, we tank him in the middle of the room. Well, one of our guildmates right. clicked the button and we all fell to our doom on Mithrax. 
uh, before any of us could loot it, and we were all like, "Who the hell pressed that?" And and apparently, uh, one of our one of our guildies who's in chat right now just outed LB. We know it was you. No, it was oh, you. Norm. You broke our heart. Stop <laughs> it. Bitch. Um, wow. But yeah, so so we we've I think Stone and I we've had a pretty good raid week. Um, mm -hmm. No, he usually joins us late on Wednesdays because he's watching Survivor, which the first hour we're usually making fun of him because he doesn't know how to use a DVR. I, listen, and, um, it's family time. Family well, time. it's you not family time DVR when you're sitting in front time. of Survivor with like no pants on, wow. touching yourself while you're watching Jeff Probst in a in a speedo. Okay, it's <laughs> not that's not family time, Stone. <laughs> Not family time. Do you hear the crap I go through? This this is nothing. This happens all raid. All raid. I put up with your shenanigans too. Let's, right. let's not pretend like you're you're innocent. Yeah. In sure. sure. Um sorry. But yeah, so that's that's really what I've been doing in WoW. Well, I do want to bring up one mm -hmm. thing. So this morning, um mm -hmm. my my son he had a baseball game. So I was talking with my daughter while we were waiting for him, and I told her that I was like, hey, I'm going to be on a podcast with someone from Australia. And she was like, well, how how do they understand you? I'm like, well, we both speak English. They just have a different accent. Yeah. And she's just like, I don't understand. I was like, well, they kind of talk like this. Throw another shrimp on the bar. And like, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and I'm like, take out your knife and then skin a crock. And then she's just like, she's just like staring at me. She's like. <laughs> And I'm getting these disgusted looks from other parents in the stands. But um, <laughs> so I, I felt like I needed to tell you that story, Leah. Um, Thank you. But that's. <laughs> I've got no wow. words for that. That's <laughs> I, uh... okay. Um, Thank you. Please don't do it. Just don't do an accent again. Uh, Thanks, Dad. I mean, Thank you. appreciate I know that, my... though. I, I like know the my... story. I know my accent's terrible. An E um, for effort. Uh... Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, right. But I do want to bring up one thing because someone did mm -hmm. ask about it in your chat. Combat Before sure. the Storm is 100% free. This includes mm -hmm. all features mm -hmm. of Combat Before the Storm. You don't need to register. You don't need a ticket. You don't need a BlizzCon ticket. You just walk in and have a good time. There yep, is no. no purchase necessary, but we are extremely thankful to everyone on Kickstarter who helped fund this party and make it happen. And also yep. the Medieval Times for helping make sure World of Podcast happened live yet again. So I mean, absolutely, we are we are deeply appreciative of the people who could, who did have funds to spend, but you do not need to spend funds to to enjoy the party. I think uh, all I can say is if you go to the party, if this is your first time going this year, you go to the party and you like it and you enjoy what you see when. We come around next year and we go up on Kickstarter, getting the 2019 party together. If you want to show your appreciation, then great. If you don't, that's fine. I, we we find a way to make this happen every year. Nice. Uh, one, nice. one thing and I want to must... ask. Hold one, one, yes. second, one second. Um. Uh, okay. With the with uh with 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 mid with mid the evil times doing these plots. Uh, uh, I believe there was also they arranged like a deal. Too, yes, so people were in the area. Mm -hmm. for yes, that, so if for you go and one, join right? the Calm Before the Storm Discord, if you go to discord.gg slash calm before storm, if you join that server, mm -hmm. in the Calm Before the Storm server, there is an announcements channel. If you, you scroll up, there is a code there that gets you uh, a discount um, for Medieval Times, which is essentially 20% off. Um, and it works for adults and kids. Nice. Yep and um so yeah so go go check it out and not only go to the conference storm server to get the code but also go there to get all the latest news interact with podcasters and streamers and also make some new friends we have tons of people on there who are meeting new friends that are asking questions about like hey where's this and that and um it's uh this is a good chance for you to just meet some new people and hang out or even get questions answered about about the event too, especially if this is your first time going mm-hmm absolutely all right no thank you for that guys that's that's good i'm uh again very excited and many evil times looks it looks really good i had a look because i was like can i fit this into my schedule and i'm like i don't think so but it looks really fantastic i would love to go so i'm trying to um, go on saturday 
Saturday. I'm try and find time to go on Saturday. Yeah. It, I mean, Saturday is a possible option. It, it kind of depends on how how interesting or uninteresting the closing ceremony is. Which, by the way, right. we're at October 20th. We yeah. still don't know BlizzCon's closing ceremony. I know, right? <laughs> it's like, this is from, it's interesting. We will, Blue Man we will Group. Blue Man yeah, Group. Maybe. <laughs> maybe it's a bunch of my, yeah, maybe. Maybe that. And uh, anyway, we'll see. Maybe they're not Level 120 anything. Elite Torrent Chieftains. Well, mm -hmm. hold on. Here's also a theory I want to throw out there. So, as most of you okay. know, Mike Morheim is a big rock guy, right? Yes. He loves rock. Yes. As you yeah. all know, he stepped down from Blizzard. Maybe he stepped down from Blizzard not because he was done, but because he was so put off on the fact that he was outvoted on who the band was going to be this year that he just couldn't take it anymore. It was like, I'm done. I'm out. Mm -hmm. So. Wow. Maybe. Maybe he's going full time with so, the, you know, with the rocking, rocking with the band. So maybe we're going to get a Britney Spears revival tour. <laughs> I'm My prediction <laughs> is we're going to get two different acts together mm. and they, they like to one to appeal okay. to the one to appeal to the, the the crowd like me who remembers 80s and 90s bands uh like they were the greatest thing and then another group that's more then another group that's more modern i think they'll do a do a two-part thing okay all right well we will have to wait and see uh, very that's uh, i think i'd be okay with that row i think mm. i'd be okay with that give me 80s music most days is fine what if they do good. the tupac hologram tour where they're like making tupac a hologram on stage and making i'm serious <laughs> it's a thing i know really? like yes, yes. Like, people are like doing holograms and they're having yeah. tupac do a tour yeah. Yeah. on that subject <laughs> can can we just for the opening ceremony have a chris Metzen hologram oh yeah yeah I'm just can saying. Chris and Mike? Yeah. Can I have, because I, he broke my heart when I woke up and saw the news and went, who's going to come out to open this con? I'm like, yeah. So, it's all about I the mean, jab maybe, now. It's just yep. like, yeah. I mean, he's a cool guy, but I was really <laughs> looking forward to seeing Mike be, you know, come out and be like, Fangirling so, for a moment. What do you think the Dan Here's the thing about Mike. Uh, I'm sure he's going to be at BlizzCon in some capacity, and it won't surprise yeah. me if he's in the lobby of the Hilton uh, again during the evenings and stuff like that. He has he has this tendency to just hang out in the lobby of the Hilton, and yeah. the thing is, he'll be in the lobby of the Hilton, and people will be so intimidated that hardly anyone approaches him. But he is a totally approachable guy. Yes, nice. he is seems a seems to be from the stories that i read when um when i had heard that he'd stepped down so um you know there was a lot of stuff on twitter and it was like my mm. gosh what a like really what a wonderfully nice guy i'm yeah so okay uh let's see stone what have are you, you sure you 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 really want to hear from me because <laughs> i'm taking really you down you're to gonna Chinatown. do that's you're gonna right. do this come so, on bring it buster yeah, that's come right. on Ooh. i'm taking you down bring it so last I'm ready. week we announced our leveling con uh, 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 test and i said that you know i wasn't yes. really i didn't i didn't think i was going to do one like you were like oh i'm not gonna year. do it and then Lee. Because like, well, if you don't, then that means that I win. And I'm like, you know what? Yep. <laughs> Screw yeah. you. Okay. So <laughs> I rolled a tune. I didn't want to, but I did. Yep. And I'm at, um, sorry, level 22. What level are you at? Yeah, that's right. Well, 21. 21. I've been yeah, yeah. sleeping. I'm yeah, sorry. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. I had to sleep. Down, taking you down to Chinatown. Uh, so Not yet, buddy. And I, I'll just do this yet. all week. I'm the only buddy. I'm the only person that roots for me. So I gotta like pump myself up. Everybody's on your team. No one's on my team except for John. Okay. So yeah, yeah. I saw that. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, thanks, thank you, thanks you, to John. Winkle. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Um, my iron, I got to level 31, a little bit hairy. My fame, uh, uh, death didn't work. 
And I was like, what oh. the hell? And I almost died. And luckily I was able to put a trap and ran and everything's all good. So yeah, it doesn't always You work. ran so um, far away? I, I did. I ran <laughs> so far away. Uh, it was almost yeah. as if I was being chased by a flock of seagulls. Really crazy. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, I did lose a character this week. I lost my my lost my pass my pacifist uh, doing candy yeah. buckets. So I was sneaking through Badlands. I landed at Fuse Light, and yeah. um, I was I was sneaking over to Dragon's Mouth, and I was level thirty seven. And oh, uh, okay. The yep. mobs there are forty and forty one, and apparently they could see through me. And they're like, "Hey, what's that?" So I, uh, so I did a sh- uh, do meld with my night elf, and everything was all good. And I was waiting for it to come uh, uh, back up off of cooldown so I can move again, just in case. Mm. And then this giant elite level forty-two plus uh, bl- uh, black red dragon, yeah, just kind of sits there. And he's like, "Hey, there's something there," and I'm like. And I just sit and wait, and I'm thinking, oh, please, please pass me. And it started to go again, and it's like, oh, there's something there. And he smoked me. Yeah. So he yeah. picked me up with his great big claws and lit me and smoked me. So there goes my pacifist. Yeah. It's gone. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Ouch. I have one iron left. And uh, anyways, so, but I, but, you know, at least I'm still beating you. So I'm all good. <laughs> Wow. Yep. You lost your pacifist and you didn't even, you didn't even care about that because uh, no, you just, you, you you're know winning. what? It, it was funny really? when I did uh, die, it didn't bug me that much. I think I've been doing really? this enough. I, I've been doing this enough. Wow. When okay. they die, I don't care now. I just, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Now I know, okay, don't do dumb things like that. Oh, you four, don't care when people level, die? You're the sociopath. You're goddamn right. A four, five, a four or five level gap. Still the most heartless Canadian is still, in the world. Is still enough. So don't bother. Just don't. Um, there. Yes. But this, like you pacifists. So for those that don't know, pacifists can do quests. You can't kill anything. So stones had to mine and herb, yeah. basically, and do any quests that don't involve killing anything um and what level were you 37 37 so that's 37 levels of not killing one damn thing picking herbs and mining and, and running doing very kegs. limited questing yeah yeah and Bur- and Bur- so because burfest is great wow i I honestly thought you'd be in the fetal position because nope, if I, I was 37, I actually I have it be. clipped. I have it clipped and you can see, I was just like, Ugh. I know. I was kind of like, ah, poop. I watched it yeah. and I was like, wow, you are really calm. I yeah. cannot believe it. I'm building it. it. I'm letting it build up. And yeah. then once we're done with our trip and all that, then, uh, then it's going to be over. So that's, that's why okay. like, these are my last few shows. All right. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. Oh well. So, Lita, what did you yeah, do sorry, this week? Because I'm not good at the segue crap. <laughs> what did I do? Well, <laughs> I just, I just kept, I just threw the challenge down and said to you, you know, I rolled an undead warlock because, mm-hmm. well, what mm-hmm. else am I going to roll? Mm-hmm. Of course, I am. Mm-hmm. So, um, I've just been having fun going through Death Knoll and um, and all of that and candy mm-hmm. buckets. Yes. Candy buckets candy has buckets been an good. interesting challenge. Mm. Oh, oh, and don't forget when you get f- when you get hit by the stink bombs in in Undercity or Stormwind, they flag you. Not true. They flag you. Not they true. Do. Not all the they time. They do. I have been hit by so many and I've not been flagged. I got hit twice last night. I have never been flagged yet. Five minutes. That's it. Challenge accepted. <laughs> <laughs> we will see <laughs> but anyway i'm still alive that's the main thing so that's that's good yes. all right well, that's uh, great. Uh, staying alive staying that's alive eggs. yeah wow yeah well i'm undead so i'm kind of half alive well can so i be that, half uh, staying alive yeah, yeah yeah 
anyway. Yeah. Um, next. Oh, oh. Uh, segue. I, I I need to get a beer, but yeah, let's go on. <laughs> Breaking now news from the world of Warcraft with Lita and Stone. Okay, Lita, you go first. I'll be right back. Actually, Lita, can you do this part? Okay. I'll be right back because I, I did sure. the whole thing over in there. Okay, go get your beer. That's fine. All right, so come before the storm and world of podcasts. What we wanted to make sure people were aware, Stone is doing the Warcraft online panel on Sunday, October 28th at 7 p.m. ET. Um, I'm flying. I'm going to be in a plane, so I'm I'm not going to see that. I'm going to miss Would that. Would you so. say that you're leaving? On a jet plane? On a jet plane, exactly. Don't know when I you'll don't... be back again? Well, I do, because oh, okay. it's like a week. But yeah, I know what you mean. On a jet plane. I know. Don't know it's when very I'm exciting. back again. Thank you. Actually, you can I, you can kind of sing, Saravis. I'm, that's, that's, I'm impressed. Only when I drink. Only when I drink. Okay. <laughs> Keep drinking. Wow, that's fine. Um, Damn. So, yeah. So Stone will be doing that, and then I'm going to be doing The Storm on Saturday, November the 3rd at 2 p.m. Uh, Pacific Time, which is 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, I'll be there. I do think... Wherever we're going to be. Hey, Rob. Probably the Hilton. Not okay. 100% sure on that yet. Okay. So I threw, I threw an idea out to Zia because... Mm-hmm. So I was talking with someone else and we said we should you guys should do it poolside so everyone who wants to listen live can all sit in the pool and drink. There we go. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. No, they wait, can so, do that. I'm not sure. So if, but... if you all want to do a poolside, I will be in the pool right next to you guys and I'll be like drinking some pants liquor. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, you want to get in the pool with me? <laughs> Thanks for Thanks for that Jesus. visual. Um, <laughs> you totally yeah. should. That would be awesome. You guys could sit in the pool. That would be, I'd be happy. That would be fine. No one wants to see No this. flicking water, though. Just saying. No. no. Hey, St- Stone, on Wednesday, when I, when because we'll be in early, we can go shopping for Speedos together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you both can do that by yourself. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, wow. Next, Bliska. I'll go on to the next one because I'm like, oh my mind. Anyway, BlizzCon lunch. We're gonna do a BlizzCon lunch for the WoW challenges and friends and um, who want to come. So we're gonna do it at IHOP on the Thursday at 1 p.m. Uh, we will. We're not booking a table. We'll just go there and. I want to try food. I'm excited. So well, anyone mean, that would like to come IHOP along, let us know. It's not like super great food, but it's like good. Where I don't it's care. An, where it's enough that you won't die. So, you know. It'll be fine. I just want to try stuff. Yes. Yeah. So come, let us know. Tweet us on, uh, or, you know, Discord or whichever. So uh, okay. that should be exciting. Okay. The shop. We've uh, got a code yeah they sent they sent me another code it goes from october 22nd oh, nice. to 24th free shipping do do the code s-h-i-p okay s-h-i-e-p-f-r-e-e 18 so ship free 18 have fun with that yeah um yep. so contest update i'm gonna do our top 10 wow mm-hmm. and we have had so we hey ship own... free 18 is the same code on this russian mail order bride site too <laughs> Do you see? Nice. Do you see the baloney I deal with? What? I thought that, I thought that was really good. Every cause... week. I thought, I thought that was great. I thought that I was thought probably that was awesome. the highlight I of the show like right there. I feel like I'm almost like <laughs> the good. straight man here myself. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> Holy crap. Really? You are going to be the straight man? Okay. Um, <sighs> I'm saying I'm not straight. No, no, no. I just <laughs> thanks, just... Lena. Appreciate it. <laughs> So, uh, our top 10, we've had a lot of people dying up in the, t- mm-hmm. <laughs> up in the top 10. Uh, we had a level yeah. 35 die, level 39 die. Uh, and so now we have our top 10 is only level 37 right now. Uh, so, and that's, 
That was good tears. Thanks, Ash. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh, everyone's selling me out now. Um, so we're going to go reverse order. So number 10, Le- Leanne Dranda, Drandra is level 23. Fell Zorts. What? How is Zorts? Zorts is up in the top 10, level 24. Wow. Guess I, uh, Iron Lock is 24. Iron Somolta is level 27. Goose Lock is 27. Old Iron Eyes is 30. Felby. Ooh, Felby's. LB is making a push for level 30. Go, um, LB. Kuna Tank Hanger. I don't know what that. I can't even. Horrible. So level 32. Sorry. So sorry mm-hmm. if I screwed up your name. Uh, Fairy Lockery is level 35. And Lucy is level 37. Uh, and mm-hmm. as a reminder, uh, we are giving away three months of WoW time for the winner. Mm-hmm. Um, I also want to mention that uh, we were able to get uh, Two Frog uh, donated a EU game card. So what we're going to do is that we're going to put in the US one uh, that that Rogues Dur- gave us. Uh, so we will have a top 10 draw for people that did not win for the U for the US card and then a top 10 draw for the EU card for people that did not win. Uh, so there'll be one winner on each side uh, and the mm. higher that you rank, the more tickets that you get for the draw. So level up. Yeah. Um, so, at, so at least if you won't win, you have a chance to kind of win some, some thing, right? Um, mm-hmm. uh, so two frog, thank you very, very, very much uh, for that. Um, Thank you, too, Frog. Now I don't feel like yeah. being, you know, a, a schmuck and saying, U.S. only, you know? So thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, um, very cool. So I, I, I did some research, Lee, though, on mm. what you said was our score. You said that we were yeah. tied. Well, I, I honestly Wrong. thought we were we were tied. I knew we'd have to be pretty close. Well, we are pretty close. So... I am leading five to four. Right. Uh, and I feel like I'm going to be leading six to four when this is done. So, really? Yeah. yeah. <sighs> stone, stone, stone. Okay. Yeah. Give it to me. So what, what have we won? Uh, you have won the one where we only did pal, please. Uh, you won Frozen. You won orcs versus humans. Yep. You kicked my ass on that that one. I think I died like the first day, uh, and you yeah. won the green one that we just did, where I died on the very first night. Like I like I died yeah. that night. It was horse yes. crap. Uh, so I won the free for all the very first one. I won the arrow to the knee, which was no gnomes yep. versus goblins. Oh, uh, I won the I won the mine already report. I also won east during king is free for all and i also won the rogue rumble yep. so i'm five to four okay five to four that's that's pretty close because i was like mm-hmm. there's no way we're tied there, there's just no way well i knew so we'd I have to, to be by. close mm, yeah mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm. so so guys what it is is stone mm. and i run our own little contest it's basically the the first one that dies yes, during loses. the contest loses so um so yeah i can level it's out. all day and lita mm. does need to work so i don't really think that's fair yes. to say who can get higher so it's well i mean it is who can mm. get higher but it's also who dies first so if i die then yeah done i mean but if it's who can get higher i mean you're in canada now and we all know what happened this week yes oh so God. you win by default and, and and just for folks to know, we are not allowed to bring it over. Okay, they are going to be checking. <laughs> I do not have shares in any pot places. I do not own anything. No, none. Hey, hey, but yeah. Stone, Stone, <laughs> on the day that uh, pot became legal in Canada, what happened to your internet? My net went down for four <laughs> hours. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you sure it was four hours or was it four hours four, and 20 minutes yeah actually you know what that would be interesting to go check <laughs> mm-hmm. oh wow okay mm-hmm. so that's um, news yep news all right um, 
Thank you. Thank you for the news. Thank you for our score. Not, I mean... uh, not yet, buddy. Not wow. yet. All right. So let's go on to the state of the challenges for this week and let's see how all of our challenges have done. So <laughs> we will start with Ro. Can you take the irons for me, please? Sure. So at number 10 right now is Cora at 39, but rest in peace there. Uh, number nine, Iron Grit with 40. Eight is Asylum at 40. Seven is Saturn at 44. Six is uh, Pangean, Pangean at 45. At number five is Jangler with level 50. At four is Iron Luna with 51. Uh, three is Iron Pingo, who hit 57, but died. Rest in peace. Uh, number two is Ferris K, who hit 60. And number one with a bullet, Fariona at an almighty 113. Wow. Mm, nice. All right. So, Bloodthirsties, let's have a look. Seraphis, can you do those ones? Please. Sure. Number 10 is Goon Boy Barry at 16. McLeod, 22. Five Autano, 31. Five Angers, 34. Five Victorious, 37. Five Bones, 44. You all see a theme here, by the yeah. way? Slightly. I'm calling shenanigans. Uh, Gore Crazed, 46. Five Rush, 53. Five Toljuso, 54. And Green Dragon, 66. So there's I mean, shenanigans when it, going on there. When it comes to the Bloods, we've got five on it. Wow. Yeah, five five is on it. Also, oh. Nisi's away, so five five's really kept the, done very well this week. <gasps> okay, pacifist. It's a monopoly. Yes, it is pacifist row, please. Okay, uh, at ten we have Scaredy Cat with forty, followed by five Higgledy at forty four, passive nine at forty five, peaceful at sixty. I cannot translate Russian to English, but I'm going to sound it the way I see it. Heminator. Oh, no, Heminator? Heminator. Okay. Just Heminator. use the shit oh, free 18 code. You'll be fine. You don't need to speak in Russian. <laughs> uh, so Heminator at 70, uh, Farrakesa at 70, Mon Sprecher at 71, Silent Herber at 79, Five Pride, Five's back, Five Pride at 88, and number one, Sneaky Boys at 100. Uh, and so I'm not familiar with your following text after That's this. That's okay. Here. That's right. They got um, Stone and oh, probably explained yes, it a little bit I better. Want they to didn't talk die. About that. Okay, ah. so they did yeah, not die. They, they not got die. yellow flag because they got a kill, yes. but they actually didn't kill anything. We don't and know. it's a prox kill okay. where you get a credit for a kill. Yeah where you're near something and sometimes you mm. get the kill. However, mm. the weird thing is, is that when you go look at the information, it shows that she killed something that was unspecified. So weird. it wasn't a humanoid. It wasn't like, you know, yeah. a beast of some, some kind. So what the hell, yo? Like, I, you know, yeah. that, I mean, that bugs me more than losing my own too. Right, it just yeah. sounds like uh, something for unsolved mysteries to look into. Man, yeah, God. it's it's though. What was she? A hundred, so level one hundred. Yeah, on a pacifist. Um, she's Buzz. here in our chat. So I think you know if that was me, I don't happened. think I would be in the chat. I would be, I would be in the i I would be in the closet for about a week. Because doing doing. So let's be honest. You came out of the closet a long Jesus time. Christ. Yeah, I I knew as soon as I said that word, I was like, shit. I mean, you hung you hung yourself there. I did. Don't. I even knew as soon as he started, I was like, he's gonna hang himself right don't, there. Don't be ashamed of who you are, buddy. I love you. Jesus. Oh, the bromance is real. <sighs> Absolutely. God. <laughs> But sorry, Bond. Sorry about your pussy. It's yeah, it's very rough. So, ouch. All right, uh, tins. Who have we got? Seth, your turn. Uh, Mela thirty-seven. Hunt. Hunt. Yolo thirty-seven. Okay, seriously, Yolo. Come on, people. Uh, uh, Fair Tailey ninety-six. Trickster one fourteen. Ironster one fifteen. 
Nice. nice. YOLO kill. Not for the YOLO people. YOLO. I mean, it's the most it's the most obvious saying. You only live once. Yes, you only do live once. Especially that, as you, an iron. But you die no and it's over. Mm -hmm. Like so. Yep. You're done. Exactly. Okay, greens. <sighs> Ro, who have we got on the greens, please? All yes. right. Starting with uh, number 10, we have the green goat at 25, Gretchen at 27, Bernie uh, with 33, but has died. Rip. Bosverity at 37, uh, Zayurida, Zay Zayarida? I apologize at 40, <laughs> Crustier at 44, 11 at 45, Greenbiddy at 49, Aubriane at 63, and number one is Malados with 71. And I, I want to I want to make an amendment to your guys' challenges here. I feel that mm -hmm. there is a challenge that should be inserted here. And uh, that is uh, pants off, dance off. And uh, actually, I think he has his pants on. But just one thing I'm noticing right now is uh, you guys have heard of uh, Rudism, the guy who mm -hmm. levels up using nothing but a DDR pad. Mm -hmm. He is doing that right now. As we as we record this, he is leveling from 110 to 120 using nothing but a DDR pad. Oh, my God. Wow. That is pretty okay. impressive. Yeah. Good. He Lord. is wearing okay. pants though, so I don't know. Thank goodness for that. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Well, that's Jesus. an interesting challenge. Good on him for trying that. Uh Stone, I've left you with the teams. Okay, so for teams we only had one change in the teams. Uh Chubby Pink you no corns. Uh they were flagged because somebody equipped green gear that were not allowed, so they deleted their characters. Yeah. So yeah, well, yeah, I guess I would too because your team's gonna be flagged. So, uh, yeah, sorry. Try again, and don't equip the bad stuff. Uh, and blood teams. Uh, five finger death taco is level thirty four, and combo taco five is level thirty eight. Once again, the, the fives. Well, yeah, mm -hmm. because five and taco have two teams. Actually, I think they had three, but one died, and apparently it's five yeah. spelled. So wait, so oh. did we lose a taco? No, taco was okay. Mm. But no, we lost died. a five, I think. But yeah. when, but when you play with a team, as I'm as more concerned about tacos. Dies, Did we lose then... tacos? Gee, Jesus. Did a taco Jesus. go missing? Uh, if a taco's gone doing. missing, then we need to bring Bell back to the show and have no, her. Yeah. No taco left behind. Funny right. you say that. I don't think taco's even in that chat. Is she? Uh, no, she logged on uh, earlier this week. And then okay. uh, we saw her log out, and the tune uh, left the guild. So I think her character died. Oh, unfortunately. Oh, so no um, good. Sorry. Bummer. Um, cool. Okay. Next. Okay. Next. Next. This one. He is my blood. Yes. Yes. This just in. It's chit chat. Excellent. All right. So this is where you can send us your tips, your tricks, any questions, any advice, <laughs> puns, jokes, yeah. all those kinds of things. So we're going to start off with the first one. Seraphis, can I get you to read Azzy's pun, please? How do you drown a hipster in the mainstream? Hmm. I don't know, man. So, oh, well, here, here, here you go. So, I got, I got one that's related to this. What oh, is Jesus. red, yellow, and orange, and looks good on a hippie? I don't know. Fire. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> Look at Lita's face. She's like, oh my god, that's funny. Uh... I'm st I don't get the Azzy. I don't get that one. And I don't, I don't hipsters get don't it. Main, mainstream, mainstream hipsters don't do mainstream yeah. stuff. They like to be right. forward cool. Yeah. Oh, oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. I get it. Uh, Azzy, yeah. you've had much better. I'm just saying. Okay. Yeah. All right. Seraphis. Yeah for yours okay. really his, 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 his <laughs> you, yeah. come on you can All do right. better Think okay, of another one. Easy to okay. what's red hair? white and blue and spins around at 100 miles an hour don't know 
Smurf in a blender. <laughs> Shouldn't I knew go on that? I, okay. I mean, I might as well add my contribution, right? Okay. Okay. Right. What do you call a flat screen that won't stay on the same channel for more than five seconds? Oh my god. ADHD TV. <laughs> right. I. Okay. Nice. Thank you. Thank you both. See, those are good puns. <laughs> Not, well, you can never go wrong with a blender one. I'm sorry. <laughs> I still love my frog in a blender jokes. They're still so smurf in a blender. Yeah, I, I, I can totally go that. I, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, let's go on to the next one. So, Ro, can I get you to do um the next one from Mrs. Rakuru, please? Sure, Mrs. Raku writes, an idea for the contest. How about setting a start time once you have set the start date so everyone can start at the same time and post it on the banner and in Discord chat? Uh, that'll make it easier for people who want to do the competition uh, heads up to be ready, as I missed the start and only got on board the day after it started. So we intentionally yeah. don't Responding announce to that. the... Mm -hmm. date on when it's going to start until it actually starts and we intentionally yes. don't say the time although most people know kind of when it's going to be if they've been Roughly. in one before and uh 24 hours won't make or break you for sure uh but we intentionally don't say anything because people like to pre-level and yeah. oh as soon as they make the announcement then they hit level 10 and it's like no, no, no. let's let's just you know yeah. try to keep as many uh many as many things about the contest Mystery. as uh, as possible, quiet, you know, so we don't talk mm. about class and all that stuff. And uh -oh. um, oh boy. And and considering we're a week down, so we've had one week of the contest, and out of the total a hundred and one, um, just looking at the stats because I love stats, um, we have got sixty five point three five percent are dead. Yes. So a 24 hours is really on this is not making yeah. any difference because we've lost everyone from the top at some well, stage I, in this week. At, like, one, at one point I saw so, the top 10. Uh, there, there were th only mm. three people alive from that original yeah. top 10. So it's uh, yeah. you know, it just, you, you know, as soon as you see that you can play, well, you know, go for it. Yeah, um, go for it. Uh, Absolutely. Carrie is messaging me. So, okay. All right. <laughs> She's probably like, I'm coming home in five minutes. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, Seraphis, can you do the next one, please? From Dave the Hunter. Mm -hmm. Contrary to Casey Kasem, if you keep your feet firmly on the ground, you'll have trouble putting on your pants. <laughs> Which I want to give just like a quick little blizz contest based on the <laughs> okay. Dave the Hunter thing. Go, All right. Yes. Uh, no, no, it has nothing to do with the pants. Uh, okay. So oh, okay. There's always like a Q and A after each panel, and people mm -hmm. get in line at, at BlizzCon, and everyone feels the need to give their name, their realm, what guild they're on, how far they progressed, what shoe size they are, when their birthday is, how far they've flown, and if they've had a bowel movement the day before they ask their question. Just stop. Just ask your question. No one cares. <laughs> Any of that. Can I bring something up here? Jesus. Because <laughs> th there's a story to this last year. Okay. Yes. Okay. One thing, if you watch coverage of BlizzCon the past two years and you look at the Warcraft Q&A for 2017 and 2016, pay attention to the first person in line. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, when this first person in line got up on stage in 2017. I hear that he was pondering whether or not he should mention what guild he was a part of. And he made the decision to say what guild he was a part of just to see how many people in line would also say that behind him. From what I hear, this guy just wanted to watch the world burn. So if you ever find some guy named Ro over at BlizzCon, <laughs> it's all his fault. 
I did. I did see you. I, I did see you, know you in the line. I know, and yeah. like I said, I like to watch the world burn. <laughs> <laughs> if if I somehow get the hat trick this year and I'm allowed to be in that line again in 2018, you'll just have to wait and see. Nice. Do it. Do it. Just saying. Okay, uh, let me take the next. Let me take the next one. This is from Two Shanks. It says, "Have you guys considered doing a contest for whenever a new expansion comes out? So whoever hits max level first on a new character created that expansion would be the winner." I know people are already trying this, but I guess it would be more formal. Prize could possibly be the next expansion. Right. So he's Stone. basically saying, well, because since 735 and all the level scaling, yep. we have not had somebody yeah. level up all the way from one to max. Yes. So he's saying, you know, hey, what if you guys sponsor like a bounty, I guess, on uh, the first person to go from one to 120? And then the prize mm-hmm. could be buying them the expansion for the next expansion. Right. Mm-hmm. And I'd say that's a pretty good good uh thing to do uh if i i we can track it we do kind of track it already so we can tell and uh if somebody wants to put up an expansion let me know uh i don't know how we'd work yeah. with that because as of right now we've been forking out a lot of cash for prizes and stuff for virtual tickets and game time and all that so this you know if we get closer to it you know maybe that's a option and if you're interested uh to sponsor that kind of thing uh i i yeah. don't think i would say no right I, i'm not gonna turn away a, a prize like that 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 would be pretty neat mm. yeah cool yeah okay uh we'll go with surface next again please so from mark hey i want to check my hey stop <laughs> Exactly. Son of a bitch. I went to check the status of my character for one of my challenges Jesus. and it was dead. Who the hell do you think you are? <laughs> <It's> actually, <laughs> yet I haven't died once, and I don't get why it's down to death in the statistics. Get your math right, Bucko. So when Blizzard says that you're dead, you're dead. So you get your facts right. So basically, uh this person, I believe, either reused a character name that was already dead, mm-hmm. and the info yes. didn't get uh, refreshed. And usually when that happens, when you go reuse a name, it takes 24 mm-hmm. hours for the API info to At get least. refreshed. Uh, sometimes mm-hmm. three weeks. It just depends on Blizzard's side. Uh, it's nothing on our side. Uh, yes. Uh, that's it. Yeah. Um, I, I would like to Sorry. quote... I would like to quote the the amazing Dolph Lundgren from Rocky Three. Oh, if he dies, he dies. <laughs> wow, enough said. That's cold. That's 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 cool. Damn. I like it. Okay, so Ro, can you take the next Damn. one, please? Sure. Uh, from Wolfie, and uh, Wolfie says, "Hey guys, I equipped a green belt by accident as I was trying to sell my stuff." Right-clicking the item, but the vendor moved away. I unequipped it instantly again and logged out. Would my character get flagged for this in the Iron Man challenge? It's supposed to be. Uh, from what he was saying, he wasn't flagged yet, but give it time, it will. It's just Blizzard stuff hasn't been uh, you know, uh, mm-hmm. tweaked yet. He actually did send me his tune, so I need to go have a look at it to see what's what's up. So, But more or less, uh, yeah, if you equip green gear, even if it's by accident. Yep. Sorry, it's happened to me. It's happened to many people. Don't right click mm-hmm. on green gear. You know, click and drag to that sell. would be that would be an interesting add on for someone to design for the Iron Man challenge. So that like if you were to right click a green piece of gear, perhaps like a pop up could stop you from doing that, like give you a confirmation thing before equipping. We get stone. Why don't you get on that? We've we've had that offer uh, and we declined only because. We kind of feel like that's taking away from the personal uh what 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 do we got? the personal account it, it makes ability. you lazy mm. makes yeah. you lazy yeah. so that's how do we explain does. stone you know what 
Christmas. It, I mean, the other thing is pay, it is paying attention, isn't it, Stone? Like sometimes you're so focused that you don't watch that NPC and realize that Jesus. they've wa walked away. So you you do. You've got to be, when you're playing a challenge turn, yep. you've got to be paying attention. If you're mindlessly just doing, you know, click, 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 whichever, and something like that happens, you, yeah, I kind of go, well, you know, damn but it happens so just pay attention when those you know when you're doing you're selling your stuff or going to the ah or whatever just pay more attention when you're on your challenge zones that's that's kind of it so mm -hmm. suck it up buttercup basically <laughs> yeah okay okay chat, we had one chat room question that i pulled out that uh, okay that was pretty good lita can you do that one yeah, sure. So Dragon Rage UK asks, so for an Iron Man, what class you think has the hardest time? So, the hardest time? I believe so I believe this person was also asking for like a tier list of hard of hardest to easiest kind of deal in chat. Mm. Uh, and honestly, I don't like we don't like we don't have that list. So we uh, don't you know if the Go play the hardest see how the play i'm going to say shaman just shaman i was going to say squishy. shaman mage squishy, actually yep. can kick the crap out of stuff but uh you know if you get too many on you you're going to be in for a bad Warlocks time or a good time in, you know somebody's case right sir makes me sad uh, so are you allowed to use a void lord as a warlock in the uh, iron man absolutely absolutely mm -hmm. class class pet tanks and all that stuff is all good yeah. Um, easiest time. Uh, is still my squishy. personal opinion, yeah. and I think of many others, would be hunter. Uh, however, you should probably try it first on a class that you're familiar with. So, yeah. Um, like yeah. whatever you play as a main or whatever your favorite class, just just go try it and see. But obviously, a lot of people like to go with a night elf hunter yep. due to you know shadow meld the pet. You know your ranged. That's always been good. Rogues, Night that, Elf, Rogues. That's good, how I got stealthy, my first and stealthy. only iron. Night Elf and, hunt, and hunt, Hunter. So if uh, I yeah. can do it, anybody can do it. I yeah. cannot wait for you guys to sanction classic Iron Man once WoW Classic's a thing. I I want to. As uh, I really hope that Blizzard uh, opens up the API to include that in in info. Yeah. Because if they do, uh, we are we're, we're basically good to go right now because there's not a, there's not a huge difference. Uh, at least there shouldn't be between the information that we have now and from back then. So not yeah. much has changed. Uh, so we're ready to go. I'm really, I, I actually, I think I would play classic more as iron. I to kind of read. I don't know. I heard but... some stuff about classic from one of the boys last night. So I'm not really, I'm not really sure until I get to play it. Okay. So but class, as but classic to whether... iron, <sighs> have fun. Yeah. <laughs> but as to, as to classic for what they're doing. Yeah. Classic sure. iron is going to be interesting. Yeah. But I don't think classic's gonna be like what we're how we're thinking it's gonna go. So anyway, we'll see. We'll have to wait and see. Um, yeah. yeah, and I think mm. uh, other than that, it's just banter about uh, you know me being a Much manly man and you know yes. surface being just a little guy and no <laughs> making somebody mel laugh so that's all good um you know, <laughs> and we're all laughing at lita too i don't uh, because i'm beating her so um you know th this is the part where we thank our iron elite uh you guys help us keep the server alive because the server does mm -hmm. cost and thank you very much uh this week we are adding thank two frog guys. uh two frog was uh um uh, nice enough to sponsor us the um eu card for this current con test so any little bit helps thank you very very much yeah. thank you uh, too, so our iron elite we have a xylan awesome trousers boson chupa crystal free to play lb fair five iron frasley Spar <laughs> spark span grand negus ill ictr iron t win cash bringer cash you outside chris dot w 
an anonymous koala. Listen, Never Died, O Canada, Periton, P.S. Ducky, Razorus, Rude de Bruin, Soylent Greener. It's it's better than just being Soylent Green. Uh, Stir, Swing Cat, Thelani, Tuli Bardeen, Two Frog, Un Namathil, Wanima, Zaya, and Zorts. Thank you all very, very much. Uh, definitely Thanks, guys. helps out. Um, and I want to say thank you to our mods for keeping us all sane. So, uh, so mm-hmm. awesome, awesome trousers, Boz, Fair, Nisi, Stir, Zaya, and Zorts. Thank you uh, for keeping me sane and like, I, and I guess like kind of in uh, directly lead us sane too. Because if I go insane, I drive her wait her nuts too. So, thank you. Well, that's true. Uh, and uh, everybody joining us on Twitch, this is something I stole from uh, a show called The Sundering because they did it. They don't do that now, but I stole it and I'm making it mine. And um, that's just <laughs> how we're doing it. So, oh, well, sorry. Sorry. Uh, no, so sorry. if you want to watch a show where you, you it's just, you know, nonsense, uh, come on in and uh, it'll we go live pretty much every week at 7 p.m. Toronto, North American, Eastern Standard Time, Eastern Time. Doesn't matter what the shifting because daylight stuff is stupid. Uh, just Toronto time. OK, uh, so you can join these fellow people. Uh, Boz, Fair, Lita, Zaya, me, Al- uh, Aliandras. Uh, that's a bot. Blazing Bob, Seraphis. Hey, you're in there. That's a bot. Captain Doby, Crash Landing 99. You know, that's like me trying to ask out a girl and I'm getting shot down. Because that's what happened when I was a kid. Does your wife know about this? Yes. <laughs> so this, this is what happened to me in school all the time. I'm like, hey. Uh, sure. Do you no. School. School. And, every, and right, my friends gotcha. would laugh at me. Uh, gotcha. LB, so, Eli, school. Iron Ashes. Yeah, man. Cashbringer, uh, Keetanog, Mrs. Rakuru, that's a bot, that's a bot, that's a bot. Swing Cat, Tiber, Two Frog, well, I want to see the bots. Uh, that's a bot, that's a bot. Winchester, oh, sorry. Winchester, uh, Five, and Yadran. Thank you all very, very much for watching and uh, listening. Thanks, guys. Uh, it definitely makes it more a uh, more 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 of a fun thing for me versus just having to yell at Lita all, all the time. So, yay! Right. Okay. So our next show is Saturday, October the twenty seventh at seven p.m. Eastern. Like I just said, it's seven p.m. Eastern. Um, Sunday, October the twenty eighth. At 1 a.m. Central European time, which is 10 a.m. Lita time and 9 a.m. regular Australian Eastern time. And uh, we will be joined by the person that took away our clean tag, Belle, from Poloncast, to talk about DitchCon. And, Maybe uh, she can find that missing taco. That's, mm-hmm. that, that's yes, I, you know. Good yeah. Maybe she ate it. I just, you know, there's so many taco jokes. I just... <gasps> She said she's bringing me pumpkin spice donuts. She sent me her care pack, 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 package and wrote and wrote and wrote me a nice little note. And uh, I can't repeat it because it was, you know, but uh, my wife was like, oh, that's so nice and sweet. And yeah, I so I'm, you know, I'm looking forward to having her back on. Mr. Seraphis, sorry, sorry, just Seraphis and Mr. Rowe. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for wow. coming on. And, okay. you know, and, th- and thank you for sharing us um, kind of like about, you know, like the background of stuff, because like I, I personally haven't, you know, been there for like, like day one. Right. So I don't really know all that stuff. And uh, I'm really hoping a lot of people uh, learn something new about all that. Thank you, Sarah, you son of a bitch. Um, <laughs> we, we do really appreciate it guys thank you both for for coming on and having a chat and of course sharing because that is one of the things that well as you know i like to hear all the behinds of of what goes on and what makes people tick so thank you very much for sharing that so first off if you can tell us where we can find you and get in contact with you Ro, please 
Well, uh, on behalf of Seraphis's Pants Slicker and myself, thank you for having me on. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Rowow. That's spelled R-H-O-W-O-W. You can also check out the other podcasts I'm involved in. Uh, the Re- Rolling Restart is a WOW podcast. You can find that on Twitter at RestartCast. Uh, all the podcasts I'm on can be found on pretty much all your major podcast apps, iTunes, Stitcher, Google, uh, Spotify, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, I also do a show called Realm Maintenance, and that is a podcast that tells people about all the other podcasts out there that are covering Blizzard games. Uh, it's why I have so much involvement in World of Podcasts. It's kind of like the same thing going on there. I help promote other shows and do interviews with them to uh, see what they're all about. You can find that at realm-maintenance.com. Follow me, uh, follow that show on Twitter at Realm Podcast. Excellent. Thank you, Ro, for that. Now, Seraphis, where can we find you, please? And uh, yeah, bacon recipes would be good. Uh, I Okay, so I do, there are tech, I do have some bacon recipes on my old blog that I haven't really touched, but there are some food recipes out there that have, have bacon on them at varyingavatar.com. Okay. So you could go there. Uh, but I do have other okay. bacon recipes that are not there that I could give you if you want to know. And you can get those recipes. You can tweet at Seraphis. I will be glad to share bacon recipes with you. Also, uh, I at the encouragement of several friends, I have been streaming more over at, on Twitch TV slash Seraphis. See? With, and with a, a camera, here. too. Well, that's only because, Stone, you were saying that you were having a hard time jerking off without me on camera. So I... <laughs> You know, I, I, just... I aim to please. I aim to please. All the crap I deal with. <laughs> um, so so uh, I'm there, and I've I've talked bacon recipes on, on stream before. Um, but uh, I also am on a show called The Sundering. It is a filthy, disgusting show. I've had Stone on as a guest um, in the past. I've had several other guests, and it's um, I'm slowly kind of morphing it a little bit as as real life has changed the show a little bit um but it is still filthy and still focused on mostly blizzard games anyway um so i need can... more pizza delivery emergencies in your podcast service what? the problem is we don't have any pizza delivery people on there anymore but well, um... I mean, you can always put out the search for a pizza delivery warcraft player you know you may not be far off from what will be happening in the near future um but uh, you can follow us on on Twitter at The Sundering, or you can get all of our information at thesundering.net. And probably the biggest place uh, that I want to throw out is combeforestorm.com. That's uh, the website for Calm Before the Storm. You, from there, you can get all of our schedules for what's going on. You can join the Discord. You can follow Twitter. You can follow it on Instagram. You can, like, all the things. It, everything is on combeforestorm.com. Highly recommend you all check that out. Um, and I will say this, that uh, I have acquired one staff person who will be solely dedicated to the Common for Storm's Instagram feed. Um, I had a yes. lot of complaints after last year that Common for Storm did not have an Instagram feed, live picture taking during the event. So guess what? That is going to be happening. So oh, cool. I, I found someone who will be doing that. So. We have apparently... caught up with the year 2015. Get ready. Yes, we are there. There. So, um, so yeah. Stay nice. Tuned. Excellent. Oh, that's very exciting. All right. Thank you guys for that. And we will make sure all that information is up on our website with the episode. So you can find that at wildchallenges.com. That way you can also find all our extra information, which is Discord, Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and of course, YouTube channels. One little reminder to make sure, don't forget our show and actually all the shows Stone and I do are now on Spotify because yeah. love Spotify. So Just saying. Fancy. fancy. Just, I know. So, I know. You know what? It's I still weird it. because I listen it. to all it's the great. stuff and being able to search my own podcast on something that has <laughs> a like mainstream bit, it is a bit music weird. is like, what? Mm. What? Sounds very highfalutin. Kind of cool. It is. Falutin. Well, sometimes you just gotta, you know, just Jesus. step it up a bit, and then you tumble back down later. So it's all good. Um, don't forget, um, you can send us emails if you want to. Bacon recipes. Just saying. Podcast at wildchallenges dot com. Uh, if you've got any questions, tips, tricks, and all those kinds of things. Stone, where 
can we find you, please? Um, you can find me on Twitter at S T O N E G R A S P, like I'm grasping your stone. Because even people with one stone need to feel loved too. So, uh, as well as the Adventures in Azeroth podcast, which we mind did one the stepchildren right? last last night. Wow. Well, hey, mind the stepchildren. Does, does did that roll a twenty? Yes. Don't drop it, because that's bad luck. Um, <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, and I think that's our last Adventures in Azeroth until after BlizzCon. Right? Yes. So, right. Yes. Absolutely. So. All right. Yeah, Lita, where can we find you? Hey. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> Jesus. you can you can find me on Twitter at Lita Wow, which is L double E T A W O W, as well as the Adventures in Azeroth, which we did have an episode out yesterday. Yay, mm -hmm. go us! Yeah. I have uh, my own show, which is Behind the Avatar, which also had an episode out yesterday. Really, I uh, was very busy it yesterday. Um, yeah, so check You're check busy. those out. I know. I've been really busy. Something's going on. I don't know. Life's getting crazy. Uh, other than that, thank you guys. Uh, we want to say a few thank yous before I close out, as always, to Mark Conan and Epic Insanity because they did our intro and our outro. So please go show them some love. Mark Conan is on Twitter at Mark Conan Wow, as well as part of Torrent Think Tank crew over there. And Epic is Epic underscore Insanity on Twitter. And Frozen Nerds and Epic Questions podcasts are those that you can check out. Seraphis and Ro, thank you guys. Thank you. It's been wonderful to have you both on. It's not often we have two people on the show. So we're we're very thankful that we were able to grab both of you for for this episode and thank you for sharing your time with us because i know it's super busy i'm sure mm -hmm. you're super busy and uh you've got things to do so thank you so much for being with us today it's been a, it's been a pleasure this is one of the craziest weeks of the year i, I think for both of us i, I can safely say but uh, we love doing it sorry thank you I just like staring at Stone's majestic face. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. Uh, nice. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Stone. Say goodbye, guys. Yeah. Bye. The WoW Challenges Podcast is a World of Warcraft gaming podcast produced by Stone and Lita, copyright 2018. Portions of this podcast belong entirely to Blizzard Entertainment. The music used on the show belongs to Kevin McLeod, and you can find his great royalty-free music at incomputech.com. No copyright infringement is intended. Okay. Right. So we're still live. Recording is... Uh, yes. Stop recording. All right. Um, show titles. Title. Yeah, we need a title from you guys. What do you need? Uh, I think pants liquor. <laughs> Is there really any other option? I mean, there's ship free 18 out of Russia. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> you may get some unintended uh, visitors for no. that, though. <laughs> We've already had one Russian guy try and copy the site, so no. No. <laughs> no. Mm, oh, that's right. Yeah. So, would it be pants um, liquor or pants liquor? <laughs> I well. Or why not both? <laughs> pants liquor or pants why not liquor? both? I think that's true. I think that's how we're gonna do it. Pants liquor okay. or pants liquor. Although the question mark won't come through on the file name, but it should be okay for the title. Okay. Show oh, and oh my guy. gosh. Thank you guys Bro, so much. Guy. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was a blast. Um, okay, we're gonna get off <laughs> we're gonna get off the <laughs> off the stream. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh and we'll uh if we so we should be doing uh the raid tomorrow morning. Uh sometime I will be tweeting from my personal account and from this and from the uh, official account and all that stuff and uh, should be fun so um, yeah I gave um, I, see you. I gave them um, all the details earlier today so okay. should be good
Okay, uh, so are they going to stream through Calm Before Storm? The Twitch? Mm -hmm. Okay. I cool. gave him nice. the stream key and everything else, so he wow. should be good. You trust them nice. with the stream key? Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Cool. Okay, I'll see y'all later. I didn't say I sent you the stream <gasps> key. Jesus. Did LB just die? <gasps> what? Felby, no. no. LB, why are you playing oh, while you're watching? Rip. What bacon recipes do you want, Lita? Jesus. <laughs> LB. Like a, okay. I have like a whole Pinterest okay. board dedicated to bacon. See you all later. Just, gotta like, cut the stream because Carrie's coming home. Yeah. With yeah, yeah. Kids. Cut the stream.